lovely jewellery makers, how are we all? The sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. Adam says he's amazing. Are you amazing, Ads? What for, pourquoi? Just, 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 just nice, sunny. Got that Friday feels? Oh yeah, it's Friday. Uh, it doesn't feel like a Friday, right? <laughs> no. I'm so, I don't know what Friday. day of the week it is at the moment. No, I couldn't tell what day of the week it was yesterday either. I'm just so confused <laughs> with what you know when you get so busy that you actually don't know when, where you meant to be and whatnot yeah i have to check my diary every single day just to know if there's something somewhere i need to be yeah same oh it's ellie everybody <laughs> gorgeous ellie i was talking about you the other day oh were you all good things on it it was on oh. it wasn't it <laughs> and um i think it was with alison i think alison said oh, she'd yeah. not met you yeah we haven't we haven't no, we have met. I think I've done one of her, but I did one of her courses years ago. Oh, there we are. A workshop, maybe. Maybe. And she was saying, she looks like such a lovely person. I said, she is. She's always Aww. happy. You're a very happy person. I am, mostly, yeah. yeah most, <laughs> mostly. Good. Well, that's all right. That's what we want to hear. And I tell you what, Ellie, you've got the most beautiful selection of jewellery before you. Oh, yeah. It was a lot of fun. Um, it's, well, do you know what? It's one of the reasons that I actually love, I really love doing this this job is because I get sent things that I wouldn't necessarily choose to work with yeah. and then I get to play with them and I'm like oh I'm going to make a whole collection with that or Pushes I'm going to actually you outside your comfort yeah. zone um, especially with these new little um, Czech rondelles we've got oh the Czech, the Czech glass rondelles yeah. yes they're so lovely um, and it wouldn't necessarily be something that I would pick up myself to work with but I've had so much fun working with them wow that I've even gone back onto our website and bought other kits that other designers have had yeah so that yeah. i can have them myself yeah yeah so you can work with them too yeah so this project's at the at what time nine the 12 o'clock that's the 12 yeah. o'clock where where it includes some beautiful gemstones some amazing rondelles um full of sparkles yes. so absolutely gorgeous and then at nine o'clock Yes, we've got this Labradorite and Gallery Wire kit. Love the Gallery Wire. Yes. Amazing. Look at these pieces. Wow, seriously, Ellie. Oh, They're thank absolutely you. beautiful. <laughs> um, and Gallery Wire, I mean, I, I'm not a wire worker. I, I always admire, admire um, the likes of yourself who can work with amazing wire and create these beautiful weaves, etc. But if that's not you either, but you want to actually start, in a sense, working with your metals. Yes. And um, then Gallery Wire is a nice intro, isn't it? It really is, yeah. And um, actually, before. I'd never used gallery wire before doing this job. Yeah. Oh. Like it was in my first kit, I think, that I had. Oh, nothing like So I had to learn head. a new technique, but I was like, I didn't realize how easy it would be. And yeah. that's, I'd, it had put me off before, because I was like, oh. And I'd, even though I'd bought some of the kits we'd had in the past, I'd not used them because I was just that little bit worried about trying it look at that they're absolutely beautiful <laughs> so these are at nine o'clock jewelry makers and you've got lots of different patterns and also in the two different colors um okay let's talk about what you've got coming up on your friday show we are kick-starting an absolutely epic weekend an absolutely amazing one um your early bird i don't think there's a single jewelry maker on this planet that doesn't love a bead cap because they do so much, don't they? Especially when they are in sterling silver. Um, is it me or am I? I'm getting definite Easter vibes from these. Like a little Easter basket. I think, yeah, because the little flower. The little on flowers, it, yeah. little forget me not like flowers. Um, and we have these both in the silver and in the yellow gold. Lots of sterling silver. So you could, I'm looking at them thinking that they could almost be like a, um, <clears throat> a lead into your bale. So you could actually wear them rather than just sort of spacing or framing. You could actually have them on just one singly on top. Yes, yeah, you could put a, um, just use one head pin through yeah. your bead with the bead cap on top, make your little loop and wear that as a pendant. That would be lovely. The design. Um, so you get two of them as well. Um, so do shop ahead on those jewellery makers. I think they're in item number one and two. Is that right? On the, on the website, yes. So shop ahead on those. We have got quantity and they are going to considering they're sterling silver an absolutely amazing early bird deal so do shop ahead on those lovely jewelry makers 
Um, then at nine o'clock, as we've already discussed, you've got your amazing projects with lovely Ellie, the most incredible labradorite, um, and all these gorgeous patterns of your gallery wire, of which you get them all. Um, you can choose whether you prefer them to be in the silver color or in the gold color, and you get the labradorite with it. Plus, don't forget Ellie's wonderful instructions. Then at 10 o'clock, your deal of the day, jewelry makers, loving the return of these you're essentially getting two products with each purchase if that makes sense um because they're finished jewelry of course being uh, wonderful jewelry makers and having that creative flair that you all do you could deconstruct them if you wanted to if you wanted to make these i'm just thinking you'd need to buy the strand and then you'd need to buy the slider bracelet right um you get both and you get both for less than what I'd expect each of these gemstones to actually be. We're looking at the beautiful natural chrysoprase, which is one of my all time favorite yeah. gems. Um, it just blows my mind that this literally comes from the ground. So we have chrysoprase, we have morganite. When was the last time we had morganite? Ages ago. We have aquamarine, we have amethyst. There's the morganite. Look how beautiful that is. Mm. <clears throat> amazing quality morganite all in these beautiful smooth rondelles as well um so we have the aquamarine uh we have black spinel as well um so these are all at 10 o'clock again i think you'd have to buy the strand and you'd have to buy the sterling silver slider bracelet um we got quantity of those not as many as i would hope mm. because they're so gift giftable that's true sorry laura's like you're saying quantities about 50 of some <coughs> some of them is over 100 um so if you've got your heart set on owning certain varieties then definitely make sure you're quick checking those out i mean we are talking about lots of giftable opportunities this weekend aren't we and you could literally just put these in a posh box and away you go mm -hmm. and away you go um and you can add charms if you wanted to you could embellish them further so those are at 10 o'clock um, at this point, I need to mention that you have a massive auction today, a huge auction today that wasn't originally scheduled, but you know, this is Jewelry Maker, we uh, um, often have a knee jolt. Um, what, what I mean by that is sometimes things land in the background, you know, there's been discussions that's been made with the powers that be upstairs and with our amazing suppliers. Um, one of those situations is today. Now, some time ago, regular viewers will certainly recall, we had a massive auction on Kotan. Do you remember? Kotan, that is now illegal to mine. 9,000 years history, now illegal to mine. Um, so we had a 300 quantity and we took the most unbelievable green Kotan jade strand, it's a long strand too, it's a necklace effectively. Um, to the, the lowest price that I think any of us will ever see for Kotan. Never mind have seen, will ever see. Now it's sold out. Um, the discussions that have been made behind the scenes, and it literally landed yesterday. I had Ross, Laura had Ross, Adam had Ross, texted and texted and texted. So I, All right, Ross, go and have your weekend off on you. <laughs> he was like, no, 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 it's landed. That means you can do that auction. He's a bit gutted that he couldn't be here personally. Um, but we have been allowed a further 100 jewellery makers at that same amazing price tag. And I, uh, this is coming up at what time? 11 o'clock, right. Um, so I really want you to, you know, set, set an alarm if you want so that you're back. Um, because Kotan is widely considered to be the most expensive gemstone on our planet. Certainly has been. Um, certainly one of the most historic. Um, this will be the most affordable Kotan auction that you will ever see. A big statement, but I stand by it. So that's at 11 o'clock. Also jewelry makers, because there's more, there is more. Can I draw your attention at these amazing pearls? Oh, you know how much I love my pearls. You know, oh, these are insane quality. I literally, we'll be talking about the quality factors in accordance to the GIA. Um, tick every single one of those because they are perfectly spherical. They are sizable. They are natural in their color, not bleached and dyed. They are full of nacre um, and ultimately leads to the most beautiful luster. But can I add to that? Look at that metallic quality. Now we have 22, is that right? Hang on. I think the, hang on, 16. 
Sorry, we've got less than I thought. We have 16 available opportunities. Um, I was sharing a few emails with our Alice upstairs, who's wonderful, um, and has just had a promotion. So congratulations to Alice. I was uh, bouncing a few emails back and forth over my days off. Um, and she was like, okay, so what do you want? I was like, yes! This is fantastic. I love it when somebody says, what would you like? What would you like me to buy? And I was like, please buy gold clasps. Jewelry makers, how long have I been talking about gold clasps? Forever and ever and ever. And she's like, love it. I was going, the thing is, our customers have heard me talking about it for months. Um, and she said, okay, I'm on it. This is why. This is why I think we should have gold class because the quality of the pearls that we are looking at on our screens right now, put that on 18 karat gold class, knot it with your silks, and you have got a four figure piece of jewelry all day long, all day long. So that's coming up in the nine o'clock, those pearls. Sorry, I'm bouncing back and forth a little bit, aren't I? Um, also, I want to show you these. Got last of stock opportunity, did you, did you clock Do you know up? what? I thought, where's one of those earrings gone? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, just put, I only put the one in because you don't see this side anyway. But these are your Marbe pearls with a halo of genuine zircon, not zirconia, zircon. Um, and we can show you during this auction, if you go on to first dibs, there's pieces very much like this that are thousands upon pounds. Um, can I make a request? Lauren? Yeah. Can I borrow the studio sample Marbe pearl earrings <laughs> for tomorrow? Can I? Because I've got the ring of this, but I haven't got the earrings. <laughs> Do you reckon I'm allowed to borrow them? I could buy them in the auction. And then <clears throat> if, I, if, I, if I take the studio samples, then uh, I'll buy those. Um, so these are coming up at what time did we say we're going to do the Marbe pearls? They're in the nine o'clock, so not too long for wait to wait for those as well. Um, and then, of course, at 12 o'clock, we've got your masterclass, Ellie, which is... All about your beautiful gemstones and the rondelles. Yes. It's going to be epic. Yeah. It's going to be so good today. Yeah. And there's lots of other goodies in, or, in and around the show that I probably have forgotten to mention. So, um, as per usual, get your text messages in. Come and say hello to us all. Here's some of Ellie's beautiful projects at 12. Oh, <gasps> Ellie. I know, the micro facets. Full of smiles. I know. They're my so favorite. gorgeous. <laughs> what a day. It is a day. Update everybody. You know I'm off to my um um to uh, the temple tomorrow for my friend's wedding. Yeah. Very exciting and it was like do I go in the in the traditional Indian dress or do do I not? What do you think? And uh, it was general consensus was thumbs up. Sorted. I've got but I did leave it very last minute. So I literally went yesterday, me and the girls, I'm picking them up because they're tailored. I didn't realize this. You can't just get them off the peg. No, fully tailored. So I sweet talk to the lovely lady in the shop. Um, so yeah, picked them up tonight. So I'll send photos. Right then, should we do, should we start the show? Ross is, uh, Ross is in Ireland for this weekend. However, he... <laughs> Adam has said he has micromanaged the show like you would not believe. <laughs> He's definitely uh, watching, isn't it? He's like got the app on his phone. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, because we've all had messages from Ross. It's like just go and enjoy the wedding, will you? Um, poor Laura. She's like, I have done this before, you know, Ross. I have done this before. She, <laughs> 15 years experience um, but one thing that Ross is known for and I do get why um, is his first auctions you know what's happening don't you he has instructed you hasn't he Laura he says your first auctions you've got to do something ridiculous well it is obviously too low but it's Ross <laughs> this is what Ross does well done loads of you there you know sold out well done well done, well done. <laughs> well done, Ross. Go back and enjoy your wedding now, please. <laughs> Off you pop, we did it. Had your moment. <laughs> um, number 11, number 11, number 11. Um, ooh! You were just very casual about number 11. Have you seen what's in box number 11? <laughs> Are they natural? They are natural Edison oh. pearls. In the pearl world, <clears throat> really it's your, in no particular order, South Sea, Tahitian, Akoya, Edison. They're the big names, aren't they? 
These are Edison pearls. We've got beautiful soft blush pinks, uh, natural golden papayas here. Um, Edison pearls are famed. Well, they took off. The, the the ambition was to obviously um, take on the likes of uh, South Sea. They did succeed. They were called radicals at the time in the pearl. Yeah, radical pearl harvested. I like that. Oh. I'd like that to be on my CV. Yeah, she's radical. Um, <laughs> it's not likely. <laughs> not likely to not be like on a it. cult. <laughs> um, amazing. How much were they? Uh, 99 99 is very good very very good um uh -huh. oh that's over here got it comes beautifully boxed this is your guatemalan olmec jade carved bangle you know it takes 10 hours to carve one single bangle 10 hours 10 hours and much like your burmese jade and your kotan jade it's not being mined currently that's because of the discovery of an ancient mayan mask so um yeah we should be bringing this to air at £499, says lovely Laura. But she says, forget about that. Ooh, £100 back in your pocket, in your sky rocket. Did you like that? <laughs> and you've got your 0% interest split payment as well. Beautiful Olmec blues, and it's totally natural. Um, so to quote our lovely Dave, who is back off his Ollie Bobs, um, the situation of jade in the world is dire. And what he means by that is you just can't buy it anywhere. Um, so we're very fortunate to have the connections that we do to be able to bring you gemstones like Guatemala and Olmec jade. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's the pinnacle. To own a bangle is regarded in the jade, wor jade world, whether you're talking uh, Burmese, whether you're talking Kotan, whether you're talking Guatemalan, it's the pinnacle to get own a bangle. Um, well done, everybody. Yeah, leave that with you. Moving on to, oh, I think that's over here. To, oh, they're lovely. Oh, yeah. Don't see these very often. Tourmaline nuggets. Lovely. Nuggets. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? The colour's lovely. I really yeah, like these. Yeah, gorgeous colour. I really like these. 75 carats, natural tourmaline, one of the most complex wow. gemstones on our planet. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, is anyone else getting wisteria vibes from yeah. this? They'd be, oh, I'd be, I think they'd be nice with the pearls. They'd be lovely with the pearls and they'd be lovely with the cotan, mm. wouldn't they? Oh, what about all three together? Super busy today. Welcome, everyone. Come and say hello. Do text in. We'd love to hear from you. You know that 7.99 is far. Yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't go with a sari. And please forgive my ignorance. I went for the skirt and the top. I know there's a name for it, but I, yeah, the skirt and the top because um, I've got to put three saris on and I'm not, I've never done it before. So I figured it's probably going to take me even longer. Um, hi, Sue, just saying, looking forward to seeing the photos. Have a lovely time at the wedding. Thank you, my darling. I will. And I will make sure I take photographs as well. Um, yeah, so I've got the beaded skirt. So beautiful. Mm. It's like a kid in a sweet shop. How gorgeous their dresses are. Um, amazing. Queen, Queen Conk. Yep, yeah, no problem. Coming up in one auction's time, jewellery makers. Arguably one of the rarest um, organic gemstones that we bring you here at Jewellery Maker. Um, so this is coming up one auction's time. Just giving you a heads up. Big pieces of your conch. Uh, number 13, 13, 13. And a coir pearl. Casual. i tell you what, what a, day to, what a way to start the show. We've had Edison pearls. We've got naturally coloured nucleated pearls. And now we're about to bring you a beautiful acoya. Um, now, Koya pearls are harvested in much colder waters than most other um, most other pearls. Come on, turn around. It's fully drilled, complete the way through, which should be, should be able to see. Um, and because of the cold temperatures, they get that much more lustre. So an Koya pearl is significant, well, well, considered to be the most lustrous of all pearls. There you go. Um, and also, by the way, apparently um, extortionally expensive to buy right now because the Chinese market will literally just not not um, export them. Um, so even here, uh, there's a slight, yeah, there's a definite mint, like a minty blue, a pistachio color. Um, am I gonna pronounce this wrong? Lehenga, Coley, the skirt and blouse. Thank you, Hertfordshire. It's so beautiful. I'm really excited to wear it as well. 
Um, is the outfit a, a lehenga skirt? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I'll ask when I see it because I've got to go back tonight to pick it up because she's tailoring it. Um, she's tailoring it. But yeah, it's so beautiful, honestly. The beading work, just because it's really heavy. Mm. Really heavy with all the beading work. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll send you, I'll let you know. I'll put a photo on my Facebook post. Um, well done, everybody. Pistachio Akoya Pearl. Um, moving on to what number? Oh, the conk bracelet, you did say. <laughs> <laughs> I did just say it was coming up from one auction, didn't I? Sorry. <laughs> I am like a fish, Laura, just so you know. You can tell me something and I don't retain that information. It's like, gone. Ah. Oh, yeah, my children. Are you like, okay, yeah, make sure you bring your juice bottle down, please. Yeah, no problem. And then they literally just walk past it. Mm. Yeah. I'm always like, Phoenix. You need to go get dressed. Can you put your pants on? And he'll be at the top of the stairs, and I'm like, pants. Uh, yeah, <laughs> get dressed. And they'll be like, oh, sorry, I got oh distracted. <laughs> go brush your teeth. <laughs> um, anyway, right, let's talk about the beautiful gemstone that is before us. Amazing Queen Conk. Now, Conk. Um, Obviously, it's, a, it's a, an organic gemstone. It's not harvested in the same way that you would harvest pearls, for example. It was something they tried to do, but unfortunately, Mother Nature had alternative plans and a hurricane hit. Um, to achieve queen, uh, queen status, they have to live between 15 to 20 years, where they actually get the seven points of their crown. That's where they get their crown. Mm -hmm. And it's this beautiful blush, cr like creamy, uh, creamy pink color. And remember that conch is a natural food source for many a predator. Um, so it thank you it's incredibly incredibly rare um, for them to live to that status now thank you Becky's just passing me a conch believe it or not though this is not a queen what? not actually a queen so see that beautiful pink color on the inside but this isn't actually a queen um, because I don't believe hang on one two three four five Five. Yeah, she needs seven points to her crown wow. um, to actually, re re you know, reach that status. These exist in uh, these exist in the deepest depths of um, the ocean. Sorry, it's a lovely, it's a very touchable gemstone. I always think, um, yeah, it's just absolutely. They call it the Sanga, the Sanga. So incredibly rare. Um, yeah, Dave went over to the Caribbean. It's a tough job, isn't it? Um, <laughs> desperately poor, poor chap. I know, I mean, taking it for the team, isn't he there? <laughs> oh my God, I feel so sorry for you, Dave. I mean, look where you are. Look at, look, oh, it's terrible, terrible job. Um, and he went looking for, of course, um, the Sangha. You get a multitude, If they are double drilled as well, jewelry makers, so if you wanted to deconstruct that, you absolutely can. Um, don't forget your early bird that's coming up at the top of this hour, jewelry makers, um, those beautiful floral bead caps. Um, so shop ahead on those, we've got them in the silver and also in the yellow. We've got, yes, the most amazing, we'll do this in about five minutes time, but just giving you a heads up, the most amazing graduate, if you love your classic white pearls, then we can absolutely accommodate that too. Um, so coming up in about five minutes time, look at that beautiful luster. They are lovely. They're amazing, aren't they? Mm. Five minutes away, but not yet. Uh, Let's do a carving, shall we? Number five. Um, oh, yeah. It's over here. I've got a very full desk today, haven't I? <laughs> very, very full show. Absolutely. Dragon carving. It's got to be this one, hasn't it? Oh, my goodness me. Have you seen this? I would love to go to a price that it's never been to before, would you? <laughs> um, Ross hasn't actually. Oh, that's why he micromanages Laura. See, just so we don't go rogue. So I mean, he can talk mine. Ross goes rogue all the time. So you actually have your money coins here. Remember, a dragon is considered incredibly auspicious in uh, China, well, in the East. Um, it has never been any lower than one four nine until today. We're at 99 pounds. Have you, this has got to be one of the most intricate carvings we've got. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at that. And it's carved by hand. Oh, it's closed at 199 pounds previously. You essentially have got a half price deal here. Um, remember, we are in the year of the dragon as well. Um, so maybe if you know someone that's about to have, um, are you a dragon, Laura? Are you? 
No, Adam's 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 older. <laughs> Don't worry, Adam. You're not as old as me. Or me. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you are 88, yes, you're Year of the Dragon. Um, 1988, born in 1988, and it's so many years as well. Mm. So, but this year it falls on every 12 years. Um, year of the Dragon as well. So, if you know somebody that's due to um, have a child, then this would be a lovely keepsake for mm. them. Um, it is drilled as well. I need to point out. There you go. Can you see it? Just at the top. Um, previously closed at 199 pounds. Then we took it to 149. Today, double figures. Amazing. Uh, while we're talking about beautiful jadeite carvings, let's bring you an amazing haigu. Um, haigu. Um, flowers and birds carved onto your haigu. We're going to do another massive closeout deal, lovely jewellery makers. Look at that. Now we'll show you the previous lowest ever price that this is closed at. And then we're going to take it to your early bird deal. Haigu or the Circle of Heaven, believed to keep us contacted to our lost loved ones as well, believed mm -hmm. to be able to speak to them through the hole. Um, again, it's whether you're looking, is it, is, is it Ping Anku, Haigu, um, circle, <laughs> circle of Heaven, there's lots of different beliefs for this shape. What? <laughs> <laughs> you can get this what now hang on a minute jewelry makers uh, listen there's not nearly enough of us on the phone lines for that crazy deal seriously <laughs> laura have you gone rogue 100 <laughs> percent. sorry Actually, adds <laughs> twelve pound fifty on split pay. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable! I'm crying, literally crying. Paula, well done. That's an unbelievable deal. Literally, just love. Have a look what price this would be on Mason and K. It's not going to be twelve pound fifty or even forty nine ninety nine. Um, well done. Oh, crying, literally <laughs> crying. Um, those amazing. Which ones? These ones. The white uh, white pearls are coming up in one auction's time, lovely jewellery makers. So they are beautiful with a slight graduation. Shall we do the uh, Tanzanite <sighs> faceted rounds? Oh, Ellie's eyes light up. <laughs> Ellie, what are you loving about these, think, darling? Yeah, well, they're microfaceted and they're Tanzanite. So they're well, ticking boxes for me. It's like, why are you I'd asking have them the with the pearls. Yes. <gasps> Make a halo around one of the pearls with the micro facets. What about that? As a pendant. I mean, seriously, tanzanite and pearls. Mm. Only here at Jewelry Maker will you be able to get such luxury. What? At six ninety nine. I paid more than that for parking yesterday. <laughs> seriously, you. Know, this is a beautiful one locational gemstone. Seriously. It's lovely. Six ninety nine. Has it, this one's been on before? Has it? Because I think that I've actually got. I bought three of these last time oh, they were on it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, you would, wouldn't you? I yeah. mean, we had a showcase on, what was it, Tuesday, of rubies. And honestly, they might, Mark was like, can I have some of those as well? So Mark was adding to my basket. <laughs> I'm not having to, <laughs> So the both of us, I was like, so I, I, you know, I phoned the call centre, because we have to phone the call centre as well. So, yeah. And they were like, um, did you actually want this much ruby? Yes, yes, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I, I do, yes, please. Um, but yeah, stock up, especially at that price tag. Yeah. Hello, Five, hello, Nicola. Hello to you, Patricia and Janet and Hertfordshire and Mandy. Hello to you, London. Uh, make sure you're checking out. Remember, all these items do actually time out as well at the top of the hour. Now, including your next star buy opportunity, we're bringing you a close out. It makes no sense to say this. Pearls have never been more expensive than they are right now. Lots of things can affect the price points of gemstones, supply, which is definitely contributing to this. Um, pills are always being harvested though, so you know there is going to be that supply. Um, however, demand is probably the most crucial factor. Pills have never been more popular than they are right now. So to say close out, star buy deal on this, is classic jewellery maker. <laughs> All 
Right, hold up everybody. There's a bit of a situation going on. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. They've lost my gold bust. Notice how I'm claiming that gold bust. <laughs> we'll go with a silver one. Silver's cool. That's fine, that's fine. I'm happy with that one. Is it okay? I know this is a tragedy. Lauren, this is a tragedy. I've got 10 of these available. So if you are a pearl lover like myself, then definitely dial early. And I, I, it's unbelievable, quite frankly, that we are able to bring you pearls even here of this quality. Speaking from experience, I mean, this is, I'm, I used to work in a jeweler's back when I was in my early 20s, 25 years ago, where does that time go? And part of my role was looking after what we called the pearl cabinet where I would have been absolutely, well, drawn over hot coals if I even handled a pearl strand without white gloves. Even then, 25 years ago, cultured pearls like this, freshwater culture pearls like this, would have 100% been in the high four figures. They would have been on 18 karat gold. They would have been knotted with beautiful silk. The same things that I see you do with your fine quality pearl um, purchases. So I don't, I genuinely hand on heart mean this. Every single pearl opportunity like these, especially these two that I see before me on the desk, they are legacy pearls. They are heirloom pearls. The ones that I didn't think I'd ever be able to say that I could own. Now I'm, I want to save really the GIA presentation, but when we're talking pearls, you have, there's more than five, but they narrow it down. Um, quality factors. So size, shape, color, nacre, and luster. Um, I'm going to ask you, Laura, the last photograph, we'll just go to that one, the last photograph where we talk about luster, there's, three, there's strands in a row, in white, there you go, that's it. These are, and let's just, let's just concentrate on this, because you can have, you can tick every other quality factor, if you don't have luster, then your pearls are just kind of meh, really. Um, it's the most important. The same as in the diamond world, you can have the biggest carat weight, you can have the most amazing clarity and color, but if it's not cut well, then it's a meh diamond. That, it, that's, luster is the equivalent in the pearl world. Yes, Lauren, thank you. Um, she just <laughs> found the gold bust. Um, if you look at those different strands, particularly when you look at the top one and the bottom one, you can literally see the difference, can't you? Look at the quality, this is why I, quality, this is why I rave and rave and rave about the quality of Jewelry Maker Pearls. Of your pearls next to the GIA, the Gemological Institute of America's photograph, which will probably be edited and photoshopped and whatnot. Would we all agree these are top grade? So let's start from the bottom and work our way up. Would you describe these as poor, reflections are dim and diffused? No. Would you describe these as fair, reflections are weak and blurred? No. Would you describe them as very sharp, reflections appear bright and near sharp? Getting there, but I actually personally would go, no, these are excellent. These are, reflections appear bright and sharp. And yet you're getting a close out deal when pearls have never been more inaccessible and more expensive than they are right now. Now forget the 999 pounds that's on your screens, which is already amazing. Genuinely it is. Forget that. What? We're going lower. <sighs> okay, Laura, I, I said to myself on the drive into work today, Elle, don't shop. <laughs> Elle, please stop spending because I've bought so much lately. Yes. I might have to break that promise because if you, I'm going to say it out loud. Laura's just said in my ear, there are two further price crashes. Unbelievably, these pearls have closed at 129 before. What? Today we are gonna go to a brand new low jewelry makers. Look at the size of them, remember your five virtues. You've got your 0% interest split payment, but no, it's going even lower than that. Make your confirmations for exceptional quality pearls. I don't wanna sound, I mean, I, I think is this is the thing, I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to do it, but 
if you wanted to, you could literally just buy these, knot them, put them on a high-end class, and sell them at a premium straight away. Mm. You could. If this is your business, then most definitely this is going to be bread and butter. But no, what we take this to is no, oh, is no reflection of the true value or worth. That's unbelievable. I'm not surprised that you've multi-bought, Anna. Well done. Really savvy shopping, because I was happy at 199 Were you? Uh, over the moon at 199 um well done remember i only had 10 ruth is there makers there lancaster lancaster's there josephine's there and kathy and warwick there's still time for you to join in you can get high quality and i do mean that top quality pills do you know what these remind me of you know that conversation we won't play it we haven't got the time but you know you know that conversation dave had with that lovely lady in hong kong mm -hmm. about the pills and she was like oh these top top grade like south sea um, she was describing so uh, freshwater pills and she was saying, oh, bear in mind this is wholesale, um, like 5,000, 7,000 US yeah. dollars. You're getting them today for double figures. There are so many of you there. Kerry, Patricia, Janet, Sharon, Kathy, Ruth, Maker, Lancaster, Josephine. We've taken it to a brand new low for you today, jewelry makers. Absolute perfection. Wendy, well done. Kathy, well done. I don't want you to miss out on these. June, you're there. What are you thinking, jewelry makers? I'm thinking gold silk. Yeah. Very luxurious. With a gold clasp. With a gold clasp, yeah. Or if you want to go, if you want to go more, um, more sort of silvery white tones. What about a silver silk with a silvery, like a white gold or a silver? I, I, I'm always inclined to say gold when I look at pills like this. It's your choice. Stay where you are. And don't forget with those amazing B caps that we've got coming your way. You've got, what, 22 minutes on this hour to make your confirmations. Janet, well done. Kerry, well done. They're insanely beautiful. Brand new low. Norma, you can do it, my lovely. Some might describe Norma as the queen of pearls. She does some beautiful pearl and jade yeah. jewelry, doesn't she? Um, make sure you check out Norma. Well done, lovely. You're not alone, darling. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, some of the makes that come up on the sharing the makes group I are know. fantastic, I aren't know. they? They're Absolutely lovely. beautiful. Lovely to see. Yeah. Um, uh, there we go. Ooh. <laughs> I've got little drawers under here, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> No, I definitely don't have little drawers. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore, anyway. Once upon a time, not anymore. Right, um... <laughs> Where's my tweezers gone? There it is. Um, oh, look at this! <laughs> and we try to get it back off the conversation of Elle's drawers. Um, back onto jewellery. Um, anyway, <laughs> here we go. You've got your beautiful Alhambra-inspired um, agate clover. Um, you've got the double jump rings as well. And then can you see at the bottom there you have a blue diamond. Yes, genuine blue diamond in sterling silver peg that you ultimately sort of insert into the, um, into the clover. Um, job done. It's like a little mini project. How on earth are we at twenty four ninety nine for a diamond? Unbelievable. Um, the B caps are coming up in about twenty minutes time. Jewelry makers. Uh, over that. Oh, dark green jade. I, what? Oh, what is it the ones that look almost black? Where? Oh, yeah. these. Yes, they are. Uh, see, I would personally grade these as black, personally. Maybe, in Maybe a, yeah, they torch. might be the onphosite where you put the light source to it. So, mm. um, yeah, the onphosite actually has then turns to a, yeah, actually you can see the green, um, like a, a dark, a dark inky green. Here we are at four hundred and ninety nine pounds. Now, um, it takes jade three times longer to turn this wonderful dark color because you've got to remember here that black jade is actually technically speaking not black it's actually a very dark inky green color here we go you can see on the oh, recording yeah. wow oh i love it i love it it's like that's like what i describe as like a rolex green yeah you know like the really dark rolex mm. color <clears throat> we're gonna go even lower this is type a burmese jadeite closed literally closed um what was it four years ago the burmese mine 2020 wasn't it yeah 
Why have I gone blank? I, sh I know this. I say it on a daily basis, but you know, sometimes you just go blank. 2020, so mind out. We're 59.99. Goodness me, you know that's too low, especially for Onforsite Jade. Onforsite usually commands, um, you know, some of the more expensive price points. Full strand as well, jewelry makers. I've got Debbie there, and I've got new customers there, and I've got Renfusha there. Morning, everybody. Make sure you're checking out. These would be lovely with your bead caps, wouldn't they? Your early mm, birds. Really nice. And again, you could just have one on a yeah. put one on a chain. Just simply use a head pin. Yeah, it's, perfect. It's the quickest make you could do, and, and you could. Jewelry. Yeah, really high, high end. end. Hello, Margaret, as well. Make sure you're checking out on those. Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Um, let's do. Which what was it of? Yeah, got it. Oh, got it. It's, it's actually not just one carving. No, no. it's a special this is one. Huge <laughs> this piece. I so love the... look at the amount. Look how thick that that type A jadeite piece is. You have your lotus flower, and then yeah. there's the drill <laughs> hole for you to suspend it. And if I spin it round, you have a further carving on the reverse. Now, look at that. Remember, uh, jadeite should look like melting ice cubes. Mm. That's the quality of the translucency and the crystal structure. Do you fancy another closeout deal, jewelry makers? Now, this is only, I'd give this a lavender grading as well. Would you all see, do you all see mm. that? That'd be lavender color. Um, now, it has never, ever closed any lower than 199. Do we, right, Laura's, I, I'll tell you what, I'll put it to our customers. Do you want a little bit off or a lot off? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> she went with a lot. I don't know many people that would say, Nah, just just give me a little. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, just just a little is okay. Look at that low. Look at that lavender color behind me. Though it's the last five in the world. That's why it's at this closeout deal price tag. Mm. It's clearance essentially, but clearance for one of the rarest colors. Um, lavender requires vanadium, which gem, which apparently is an element that rarely forms in Burma. So that's why you rarely see mm. um, lavender jade. Very very expensive. Um, actually rarer than your imperial green so you've got a massive closeout deal remember these are only available until the top of the hour and then everything will disappear <gasps> you can get this home for 20 pounds it's a heavy carving as well you've got 230 carats there well done um amber yeah i've got the amber beautiful but this is not just any old amber this is amber with the carving. Amber's incredibly difficult to carve because it is effectively polymerized, uh, sorry, polymerized. Um, it goes through a process called, I can't say it now. I've, I've keep drawing blanks today. I don't know how many. It's, a, it's that sort of day, I think. It is one of those kind of days. <laughs> yeah. um, you think the pressure's getting to me, now? <laughs> like the, 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 the weather, yeah. the atmospheric pressure, not this kind of pressure. <laughs> Not that pressure. <laughs> yeah, because this is effectively ancient resin yeah. um, that has defied Mother Nature, gone through a pro process that I can't think of the name of, oh. um, where basically it hardens. It's very difficult to actually carve, but so, but because it burns effectively. Um, you have a beautiful honeybee carved into the back of your amber um, connector. Um, <laughs> You could put that in between your cotan. You could use it with your pearls. Oh, with the pearls would be lovely, wouldn't it? Very nice. Or a I've slider. I've never seen a carved amber before. It's amazing, isn't it? If I turn it round, can you see? If I turn it round, can you see that? It's carved into the back. Yeah. Very, very clever. It, this is concave. concave. Concave, it goes into the amber. Can you imagine that? How difficult that must be, and framed in <laughs> sterling silver. Um, what's intaglio mean? What? Why is that B intaglio? I've, is it, a, I don't know, some kind of Italian B? The, the style of carving at the back. I'm almost imagining like an Italian B. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Laura just told me and I didn't hear a word of it. Sorry, Laura. It's a type of printing inside something. Right, yeah. so it's not an Italian bee. No, no, <laughs> no. <I don't. laughs> 
Mm. Engraving what? Where it's sunk into the surface. Right, okay, well that's very cool, isn't it? That's very clever. Um, <laughs> uh jay david angus well done make sure you're checking out your baskets everybody congratulations don't forget your bead caps as well which are coming up you can shop ahead on those now you know you've got these coming up in the next hour oh if you got the ring i've got the ring i bought the ring on launch i think i have to wear it it's fully oh. decked out in your marbe pearls it is lovely it's stunning it's mm. absolutely stunning um, can we just show literally the I'll be talking some more about Marbe pills, but the slide that we're on, Laura. Um okay, so just because it shows um literally I cut that's the one, a couple of uh, Marbe Pearl pieces that are currently on first dibs. So Marbe Pearls with that halo of diamond all the way around, you can get from first dibs right now. Granted it's probably gold. Yours is Zircon, which arguably are even rarer um than diamonds um five thousand two hundred and eight pounds for those earrings oh yeah mm. even without the diamonds next to it they're two thousand pounds yeah absolutely you the rarity comes from the marbe pearl and remember an oyster will only produce well, if we're lucky maybe one marbe mm. you know one or two um but they can't reproduce them because that you only see a marbe we only get marbe is when the oyster comes to the end of their life because it is part of the actual shell also known as blister pearls but i don't really like that um it doesn't, it doesn't not quite sound what it is does no. it <laughs> um again a re what did that go to sorry one two nine yeah that rings lovely it every time lovely. i wear it i always get comments on that i need to try the size on I love it you always get resized yeah number no uh, last piece before i bring you the b caps jewelry makers bronca onyx faceted bronca onyx in your 12 mils they're absolutely gorgeous you get the most amazing glow let me just take off the i'm just fully decked out in all your gemstones <laughs> here um so beautiful bronca onyx comes from brazil a quite relatively recent launch here at jewelry maker and certainly one of the biggest i think it was of last year um now we've brought you onyx from the very get-go but what was exciting about this discovery was the fact that a it was natural most onyx is treated and um, b the fact it has translucency most onyx is quite um op uh, sort of fully opaque um so totally natural there is another jewelers that high-end jewelers that springs to mind bleaker and prints that work with natural onyx also uh van cleef and arpels do as well and of course you're paying thousands of pounds for their pieces 24 pounds and 99 pence well done to those of you that have shopped ahead on that one um amazing 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 now it is time though jewelry makers for your early bird i do expect these to absolutely fly out the door there's a lot of sterling silver invested in these and they're also not just your run-of-the-mill bead cap these most definitely have got much more of a luxurious uh, um, design to them you get two you can choose between the silver and the gold and i promise you lovely jewelry makers they are going to be one of the most unbelievable early bird prices up next right um i do think it makes a big difference you know adding it, uh, there are times when obviously you don't necessarily need a b cap but there are times when you definitely do and i actually have got susie's words in my head right now where she said if you see components like this get them while you have the opportunity um because they're not on every single show especially these are a much more luxurious b cap to what i've seen previously a there's more of an investment of sterling silver into them um but also i think the design element now you get two so they'd be perfect for a lovely pair of earrings they'd be beautiful as bales i think as well mm. um they're not just you know sometimes when you see b caps and you might get 10 in a pack if you like um they're not they're much there's much more to them and i think you'll see that as soon as you see the design now um i promise that these are going to one of the most amazing early bird price tags when i was prepping last night i was like oh gosh that's very good because i'd seen the photograph i was thinking gosh that's an amazing deal um now if i show you all the way around as well a b cap will transform your pieces of jewelry a i think um they can 
draw your eye they can create like a focal um in your designs i'm going to put that on a white piece of paper because i think you'll actually see it a bit better is that what you reckon ads um well try try if it doesn't i'll swap it back again um so yeah it it it, it creates it creates a focal um obviously you can hide some of your uh um in jewelry making work if you wanted to um, but obviously we can all see the amount of sterling silver um, love these very sweet little forget-me-not details mm -hmm. it's definitely giving me Easter vibes but at the same time if you think about all the big designers that always have like a flora and fauna inspiration um, I think this is all year round now we have how, remind me Laura how many do we have okay we've got big quantities 150 of the gold-plated and 300 of the silver big quantities obviously means that there's more opportunities to buy but also means the best possible price mm. so let me just give you a little bit of a heads up jewelry makers i don't think you're just going to buy one set i think there's going to be customers that go okay for that price tag they're very special you can see they're special can't you I'm going to maybe um, multi-buy. I'm also going to reach for, you know that Akoya pearl that we had earlier on? See if I, I mean, obviously this is going to be upside down, but you'll get the idea. Imagine. Oh. And it might take a little bit of jiggery-pokery because you might need to open your bee cap out. And my fingernails do not help me. But you kind of sit your oh it's not working um it's you sit your pearl you, i need a smaller pearl that one's actually too big it's a nice problem <laughs> to have isn't it a nice problem to have but you need a smaller gemstone if you want it to sit inside um inside the actual bee cap itself what size? Uh, i'm gonna say maybe a six mil unless of course unless of course you want to um you want it to sort of sit proud you know like almost be like a kind of top hat design um then that would definitely definitely work now on your graph on your uh, on the website these are showing already for 2925 sterling silver b caps with those lovely forget me not details at 19.99 that's 10 pound each that's pretty good isn't it but we are no way near done there will be multi buyers left right and center um, because these are kind of components that, again, Susie springs to mind, you know, that get them whilst you have the opportunity. I mean, you could put one of, one of Ellie's lovely citrines in there, literally on a pair of shepherd hooks and away you go. You could literally do that. Um, you could use them maybe at the top of a tassel. What about tassel toppers, jewellery makers? They would be perfect for that. Angela trusting the process straight away, adding six to her basket. The first collectors who have confirmed have all chosen two multi-buy. Amazing. Nine pounds and 99 pence. That means they're five pounds per B cap, but they're so much more than a B cap, aren't they? You know, they could be tassel tops because of the investments of sterling silver that is actually in there. Um, amazing. Multi-buyers not enough people i agree with you i totally totally agree with you so laura's just saying yeah that that's actually too small but you get the idea you get the idea <laughs> and plus you'd I've have more time than i would have to actually to show it now we want to see you there the more of you that are there in this 30 second clock the lower we'll go we've got quantity we have got quantity of them 30 seconds multi buyers already and by the way this does tend to have a, like a little knock-on effect um a little knock-on effect with um the silver that are coming up in a few moments time as well yeah. so jewelry makers make sure you're there make sure you're ready to check out your baskets um and we will take them to the most amazing price point we've got quantity of them three pound fifty <laughs> three pound fifty for look at look at the amount of sterling silver that's in those do you know i'm almost almost inclined to think of using these as tassel tops rather than b cups yeah do you know what i mean yeah with your seed beads underneath as yeah. well that would be a lovely because a lovely they've addition. got such a pronounced 
dome, yeah, if you like. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very funny sentence, isn't it? But because they have got such a pronounced dome, I'm almost inclined to think that these would be lovely uh, tassel toppers um so that's what i would do because you've got i haven't shown you have i you have actually got the drill hole at the top there for you to feed your threads or cords or featherweight head pins through as well can you see it can you see it there um there's lots of you getting involved as well well done everybody Susie uses loads of bead caps and I think that's why um, she, you know, her words rang in my head when I, when I saw these, like, oh, make sure you grab them. Stock up while you get the opportunities. There are quantities like fives, fours, twos, threes. Well done, Christina, Angela, Jenny, Sue, Jenny, Jane, um, Anna, Ayrshire, Renfusha, Lavinia, Lanarkshire's got five. Hello to you, five. Uh, hello June I bought these last time they were on the show uh, they're just amazing and add so much to any bead fabulous quality thanks June they do they elevate any design I totally agree I mean if you think just if you were to just do like a wrap loop there's nothing wrong with that but a wrap loop with one of these would look so much more polished wouldn't it mm. it does it just it finishes it beautifully I'm totally with you on that June um, and I can see you've shopped again on this one too um well done add the silver do shop ahead on the silver as well Pauline's there Ju uh, Shirley's there Angela's there well done Denise now we're going to be bringing you the silver as well remember we've got massive quantities of these And you're already shopping ahead. Silver is the most popular colour here, Laura. Yeah, easily. Yellow gold is giving it a run for its money, though, I have to say. The warmer tones. Now, Laura says, just so you know, I wanted to stop. I wanted to keep the silver at 7 99 For the amount of... Look at the gram weight. Mm. For the amount of precious metal that is actually in these, she thought, she was saying, that's a great price. And every single person, I believe, unless I'm missing a cut, somebody, everybody's multi bought. We're not stopping at seven ninety nine. We've got three hundred of these. We're going to go a bit crazy on them just because we can. Ross is going to Ireland. <laughs> Wayne's Wayne's on holiday. Four pounds and ninety nine pence only. That's two pound fifty. Two pound fifty. Well done, everybody. Again, make sure you're checking out. And also, that goes for everything. Those amazing white pearls. Make sure you're checking those out. The amazing Edison pearls. The Queen Conch that we've brought you. The Onfosite Jade the pink tourmaline, all the sterling silver items that we've brought you so far. Make sure you're checking them out because they will disappear if they're just loitering in baskets. That's no good. Um, you can always combine your order. It's, uh, no, it did. <laughs> it's a good word, isn't it? Loitering. Um, you can always combine your order. It's one poster and packaging all day, um, regardless of how many times you make your confirmation. So don't let that stop you. Make sure you're checking out because it does guarantee your place. In fact, they will disappear. Um, Lavinia, well done. Sandra and Lanark has got five. Jane, uh, June's multi bought. Bridget's multi bought. Uh, buying three. Angela's got three. Hillary's got two. Zoe's got three. I can't keep up with you. Um, I had 300, didn't I? Haverford West West is West Wales. It's beautiful, Haverford West. Lovely part of the world. Um, hello, Anne in Haverford West. Sorry, that's why we're saying that. Um, <laughs> we just, the guys are wondering where it is. Yeah, West Wales, isn't it? South is it southwest? I'm sure it's southwest. Yeah, yeah, towards Tenby Way. Yeah, absolutely. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, Sue's got three. Well done, Jenny in Suffolk. Your neck of the woods, Ellie. Yeah. Ten. Ten. Yeah. Well, well done, done, Jenny. Jenny. I well mean, they done. were two pound fifty each. I don't blame you. Yeah. I don't blame you. I'd be multi buying like that as well. Um, you've still got time. How many have we got? It's more the time that we've got left in actual fact on this hour because remember everything does disappear. Mm. So if you are Margaret, Maker, Anne, Andrea, Sylvia, Laura, London, uh, West Sussex, Fife, Heather, Linda, Angela, make sure you're checking out your baskets everybody. 60 seconds on your screen. That doesn't just close this auction, it closes the previous auction and everything that we've brought you so far. Mm. Yeah, the whole early bird hour. So if you had your eye on these amazing pearls, they're about to disappear. If you had your eye on that dragon carving, 
or maybe the old Mac bangle or the Queen Conk, um, you need to check it out. You still get that 30 day money back guarantee, no questions asked, and you can always combine your order. Um, you're not gonna pay an additional postage and packaging like most companies. Um, if you're shopping within this day, then um, everything will be delivered under one postage and packaging. Um, it's gonna be an amazing weekend. We've got beautiful inspiration coming up with our lovely Ellie as well. 20 seconds, we're gonna close the website, jewelry, make, not, not, not completely, <laughs> just close this hour. Uh, just this hour anything on this hour will disappear um so again make sure you're checking out and do not go anywhere jewelry makers because we've got beautiful projects amazing inspiration with our gorgeous ellie coming your way in a few moments time check out your baskets and we'll see you after this <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is now just turned half past five and I've just got to the allotment to do a few chores before the day heats up and I wanted to tell you about Saturday's show. I'm going to be joining the wonderful Vicky Carroll who's going to be joining me in the studio and I just want to tell you about my two project hours. At nine o'clock I've got the most amazing bead boxes containing three of my favourite products, Aura Quartz, Shell Pearl and Diamond Tubing in two beautiful colourways and at midday the long way to return of porcelain beads. Two beautiful kits, again containing silk with a needle and also the most beautiful shell pearls. So that's this Saturday, the 3rd of August. Join myself and Vicky from eight o'clock and I better go and uh, do a bit of watering. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your Jewelry Maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first time creator, our step by step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewelry Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. My name's Ellie Gallagher and I have been making jewellery for the past 10 years. I started off with basic beading with using acrylic and glass beads, just on beading thread to make simple bracelets and necklaces. Now ever since I was really tiny I have been obsessed with crystals and gemstones. I still have some today that I collected when I was like six and seven. So finding jewellery maker and finding crystal beads, gemstone beads that I could afford was a game changer. And by watching Jewelry Maker, I learned how to wire work, which is my medium of choice. I feel like you can do so much with wire work. There's, it's almost limitless. You can co incorporate any beads you want, any gemstones, cabs. Um, getting to work with amazing crystals is um, something that's really important to me. The fact that Jewelry Maker ethically source everything just really rings true to everything that I want my jewellery brand to be. I want to know that everyone has been treated fairly in the process and I think that's a really important element of it. 
Welcome back, jewellery makers. Ah, oh, it's lovely Ellie. Hello. I know you put your jumper on. I bet you haven't done that the last few days. No, it's just the, the air con is right here. Yeah. It, yeah. Not on you. <laughs> it's over no, this side. No, that's why I always get hot. <laughs> and our designers and crew are always like, uh. <laughs> so they need to redirect it, don't they? Um, now, just before we get into your projects, I want to point out as well, your Marbe pearl earrings are coming up within this hour. Oh. They are insanely beautiful. You know, I mean, when you look, would anyone imagine being able to say that, well, I wouldn't anyway, being able to say that you own a pair of earrings like these? Mm. They're absolutely stunning. I bought the ring when we originally launched it. Um, and the only reason is budget that I didn't get the earrings. I'm actually kicking myself ever so slightly because I love the earrings. Yeah. Um, so they're on pre-order, so you can shop ahead on these. We've also got the most, if you love color in your pearls, and these are naturally colored, these are multi-hue. What that means is you don't just get the papayas and the gold, or the purples, which I know are obvious. Um, you also get the golds, the pistachios, the uh, the bronze, the silvers. You get all those colours, and that's down to the metallic beauty of those pearls. We'll talk some more. Um, they are coming your way, jewellery makers. We've got. Remind me, sorry, how many? Eighteen, something like that. Seventeen. 17 available they're beautifully graduated as well so again not them um, put them on a high-end clasp and you've got an heirloom piece of jewelry without shadow yeah. of doubt um they're also going to an absolutely unbelievable jewelry maker price tag for the caliber of the, it couldn't get any better than that in my opinion you know for in the, in the pearl world it doesn't really get any better than that um so the, both of those are coming up on your screens and they're both available for pre-order is that right Yes, both on pre-order, so you can guarantee your place. Um, but before we do all that, jewellery makers, let's take some inspiration from the wonderful Ellie. And I loved what you said in the beginning of the show, if you weren't in, uh, here when we tuned, when we uh, came live first thing this morning. Ellie says, uh, said that, okay, this was something that I'd seen on jewellery maker screens yeah. prior to you actually becoming... Um, a team member here yes yeah you know as a viewer you'd seen gallery wire but never actually used it no and I did buy it because when we had it in the sterling when we first bought it to yeah. air I think it was about a hundred pounds 129 129 yeah because yeah, it came with the Larimar didn't it or the yeah. Shah right I can't remember I think I got one of each I don't know where they are these sets oh so they're at home somewhere because I've tidied ah uh, no I can't find anything when you tidy <laughs> now you can't find it yeah <laughs> but I I was too worried to use it because I was like, oh, I, I don't think I'll be So when it turns up, you'll, have, you'll be confident. Yeah, when it, when, I, when it shows up, when I find it, I'll be like, yes. Why, why is that? that? Yes. See, I'm quite a tidy person. I hate mess. Hate it. It makes me really stressy if it's messy um, to a certain degree. But like, it's like, for instance, you tidy. And I've got two small children mm. that like to tinker, like, like, you know, oh, I'm just wearing mummy's makeup. Move things. Yeah, absolutely. Do you think I can find a pair of my, I've got literally black flip flops, which on my day, days off, <laughs> I live in. I live in them. And I don't know where they are. Like I genuinely do not know. I had to go to that gorgeous dress shop yesterday wearing Crocs. <laughs> Cause do you think I can find them? Anyway, sorry, digress. Sometimes tidying actually yeah. isn't that good. Because you lose things. I know. Well, my workshop is now at, it's also been the junk room now. So it was really tidy. Everything is all in its drawers. But now I've moved more boxes in because we're clearing out some of the other house. Uh, now I'm like, oh, I can't it, move. I know, I know, I know. It's After the summer holidays, that's when I'm going to do it. Too yes. much on on the summer holidays. Yes, <laughs> busy, busy, busy people. So um, Gallery Wire, would you mind explaining what is Gallery Wire for somebody that maybe this is a new terminology? Yes, so Gallery Wire is basically almost like flattened pieces of metal that then form, you can form around cabs. Um, it's gorgeous. So you've basically, yeah. it's, it's like the, if you imagine wire working where you create a weave and yes. then you frame it around something. Yes, exactly. It's already done for you, isn't it? Yes. In effect. It takes that element away. So when you have, when you have a cab like this, yeah. you need, all you need to do is either you can bend it over 
or frame like this it. or frame it yes exactly and it, you can pull it round the then, actual circumference and then you can bend it round yeah um, but it's also very very decorative which I want to mention because the instructions that you get alongside um, the project today written by yours truly lovely Ellie um, is something I mean you've used it here not to frame a cabochon but to actually sort of get oh well, look how pretty that is yes let's use it as a design element too um, your Ellie's right though when we first launched Gallery Wire if you remember we collaborated was it with Beadalon I feel like it was Beadalon I think it might have been yeah um, and yes it was in the 925 sterling silver it was 120 something pounds I'm sure it was about 129 yeah. and they wrote instructions specifically for us but it was quite a considered purchase and you also didn't get as much um, so we have look at that Labradorite one oh my goodness now there are only 45 chances of the gold plated so we're gonna yeah bring the graphics to air they're six inches is that right oh I've got a ruler here I'm sure they're about six inches in their length. I think there might be more. Yeah, no, actually they're more like eight. Yeah, 20 centimetres maybe. Yeah. Um, so about eight inches on each of these designs. So you get this lovely sunflower. I love that one. Me too. Very uh, Alex Monroe, don't you think? Yeah. Very Alex Monroe. Then you get this gorgeous detailed I don't know how to describe that no they're almost like little hearts aren't they they are like little hearts lace gorgeous then you get these kind of uh, um, like leaf designs I suppose they're gorgeous it looks like a crown doesn't it, it does a like little, little flames yeah oh they're gorgeous again you get eight inches there as well they're all eight inches and the ones that Ellie was just show showing you then um, I think it's quite Grecian yes and that's what I wanted to do in the design. It was because I happened to get the square cab. You don't, you get all different shapes, but I was like, oh, just made me think of the Grecian columns. And yeah. I thought, oh, that would be really nice to add in. Yeah, gorgeous. So you yeah. get all four and jewelry makers, you get the Labradorite cabochons. The Labradorite is amazing, amazing quality. Um, so you get three cabochons in total. Do we have the carrot weight? Lot. You get lots and lots and lots. 120, what, sorry? 125 carats approximately. And I got four cabs in one of my kits. Okay. So I think it just depends on the weight. Yeah. Yeah, and the yeah. size. So, so we don't guarantee, guarantee sort of the sizes or the shape. We guarantee the quality and the carat weight. Yes. Um, so you might get four. You might get three. Um, yeah, look at that labyrinth. And if you're thinking the one behind, oh, that doesn't show much labyrinth. Oh, it does. It's just to have a... I just haven't turned it towards the light, that's all. So you get every labradorite, you've just got this beautiful natural phenomena that occurs, sorry, um, that occurs from tiny microscopic platelets in the gemstones composition. That's what capture the light and give you this aurora borealis beauty. Um, so even here, we're beating the original price. We've got less than 50 of this one in the gold. I love it. I'm going to tell you that if ever you wanted to try gallery wire, this is the perfect opportunity to do it because you get, what, 8, 16, 20, 32 in, yeah, 32 inches of gallery wire and, and the labradorite and the instructions, isn't it? And you don't have to use them, you know, that gallery wire will, you'll use on lots of different other gemstones, won't you? Because you'll, you'll yes. have excess, is my point. Yeah, and what, what I've done with the earrings, if you look over there, I actually made some of the daisies, and then I just oh. put a little round on the bottom. If you go up to the, there's the other daisies, the silver ones, and they, I just put a little drop of uh, citrine on the bottom, because I thought, oh, it's some, it's makes me that's I what makes that. me the sunflowers just, yeah yeah oh, look at those so clever it doesn't have to go around a cabochon no you can actually use and them that's as... that's why i wanted to make a feature of the flowers because they are just really pretty so alex monroe yeah you know um which you wouldn't be paying 49.99 for by the way now we had just under 50 there's already collectors getting involved you get the instructions Surely for the Labradorite cabochons alone at $39.99, that's absolutely amazing. But in 30 seconds, we're going to take it to your project price. 
which is super affordable. And I love that. You know, like I said, I, I, I launched the original Gallery Wire. Yes. Um, and I remember thinking, this is amazing. This is revolutionary. I can't weave for toffee. Yes. I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> I can't do your wire weaving. I can't do it. But whereas something like this, I can. It's not just cabochons as well. I want you to realize that even some of your larger stones, say rounds, you can use it around those. Yeah. Um, I think Claire did it with some big pearls. Yes, yeah. Which works perfectly. It's a great price to be able to have a go. But even at, for the, the Labyrite cabochons, I remember doing Labyrite cabochons for more than that. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So I think you're buying your Labyrite and you're getting the 32 in inches um, of gold-plated base metal uh, gallery wire and your four different designs and the instructions for free it's a great price um and that's because we're making it ourselves now jewelry makers rather than actually having to source it elsewhere um and in Haverford west eileen linda hilda pat jacqueline sharon's got what well, wants to angus wants to L london kim jean sandra remember we haven't got many of the gold and originally we only had silver didn't we when we first started doing gallery at rewire, yeah. it was only in the silver. Um, half the stock's gone, so make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Again, if you've never worked with gallery wire before, Ellie very kindly has written instructions that you get for free. Um, that's available upon dispatch of your order jewellery makers if you go to your order history um, and you'll see it there literally you can print it off um, and you've got that constant reference of how to actually work with these Hilda, Linda, Anne, Eileen, Angela, Mary and Jerry, Janina, um, Wendy, Kathy, uh, Sandra, Pat, Jacqueline, Sharon's there, Angus is there, London's there, Kim's there um, down to the final 19 opportunities more limited for sure do, do you know do you know what else? Sorry, I'm just looking at those Marbay pearls that are £2,083. They're so a little bit like those, aren't they? You know, you know, sometimes, yeah, the framework. Mm. See the top right? They look a little bit like those, don't they? Yeah. So, you know, when we brought, we brought you the Marbay pearls um, on their own, you could use those this around that too. I think yeah. That would look lovely. Pop the Marbay pearl in there. Um, amazing. Right, let's do the silver. And these can sort of run alongside one another. Uh, the silver's always the most popular. How many do you have? 60, so it's still quite limited. Mm. Oh my goodness, I can't read. <laughs> Here we go. Right. Always the most popular colour. There's the Grecian. As we've named it. Yes. <laughs> There's the sunflowers. Oh, they're so pretty together, they are, aren't yeah. they, as well? There's the kind of heart shape, I'm going to say. And here's the flames. And then here are the labradorites. Complete blue sheen. Every single one, amazing quality. Mm. Golds and greens. Every labradorite will be oh, different, obviously. That. Yeah, that's amazing. That's almost like two-tone. It's almost got the stripe on that one. That's lovely. That's where we should be. But in 30 seconds, we're going to do it again. We're going to half that price, jewelry makers. Um, I think quantity is going to be the issue here. If we've got, 60 is not enough, especially for a Friday show. You've got to remember the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, are some of our busier shows. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Look, excited. You know, can do a new project maybe over the summer. Maybe you take these on holiday with you with a little bit of a couple of reels of wire. You don't need to be a silversmith to work with gallery wires, um, as uh, uh, Ellie will actually show you during the demonstrations. And of course, if you have any questions, do text in. <laughs> Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence only. It doesn't make sense. It's thirty-two inches of gallery wire, and I mean if. I'm, wasn't it just one strip of gallery wire? There might have been two, but they Was were it? very. They were. Small. I think they were about four inches. They're ve they were very small pieces. And then you had some um, of the wire as well to tie it, didn't you? 
Possibly, but it was about 30 centimetres of wire. It wasn't a lot, was it? No. And it definitely wasn't £24. No, it definitely wasn't £24. No, it was was three (laughs) figures. Um, Well done. Renfusha, Jan, Valerie, Dale, Eileen, Multibuying, Wendy, Jacqueline, Neil and Linda, Mary and Jerry, Ayrshire, Lorraine. Loads of you in the process. Um, Okay, so we're going to dive into our demonstration and keep the graphics live. If you have any questions for Ellie, do text him. Ellie, what are you going to show us? Um, I was going to show you... (laughs) something different and I've just come I've just feel like I've come up with a different idea while I've been sitting here. I've just oh had these things. I like it um I like spontaneous so where I've where I've made the little earrings um with the little flower drops I was actually just thinking yeah those so how I did that is with the wire that is this we, what you're demoing this I'm going to demo this quickly yeah okay but then I'm going to add on the bit a different bit that I've just thought about Okay, because I've just seen the leaves, but maybe the gold leaves might look better underneath the silver. I haven't got glue with me today because I wasn't actually going to demo this. I was going to do some of the weaving, but I think making the earrings and then oh, I know what you're doing. So how I made how I made the earrings over here. What I'll do is I'll show you how I made the bottoms. this was super easy, a really easy one to do. And I'll show you how to make the ones over there and then I'll show you my idea for the other ones because, yeah, I think that's nice. And all I did is I really, you have to be really gentle when you bend it round. So then you've got like, I don't know if you can see, yeah, you've got like a little hole the- here. And so I fed the jump ring through here and then I made a little post. So I'll show you how to make this little post for the earrings. Um, And then I glue the little post on here, but I'll show you how to make it. I don't have the glue, like I say, because I was going to do a weave, but actually I think those earrings are really sweet. And if you're new to jewelry making, I think that actually they're quite a nice, oh, thank you very much, Ashley. Um, Ah, beautiful work, Ellie. (laughs) But I think it's nice to be able to make your own findings sometimes. Great that we do them, yeah. but also nice that we can do them. So I used 0.6 for this. I cut off about, so I always have my ruler now. <laughs> because I used to be like, here's my measurement. I measure from this bit of my finger to here. That's not a real measurement that people can understand, is it? <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so that's about six centimeters of wire. Alison used 6. to do the same though. She yeah. used to go when she was wire working. She always used to go arm stretch. Yeah, that's. Literally I think it's from her. I got that from. Yeah. I'd be like arm stretch to my shoulder. Arm stretch that's to the, the right shoulder. leg. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how much. Yeah, measuring. So this is a 0.6 mil wire. You can use 0.8 as well. It depends how thick you want your post in your ear. I cut about six centimeters off, and I'm just going to create a really small spiral by using my round nose pliers. And then once you've got it started, I'll put it in my flat nose pliers and pull them around. Oh. I need my glasses for distance, but not for close up. <laughs> so, I'm the opposite. Yeah, I know lots of people are. My optometrist told me off. He was like, your close up vision is too good for someone your age. I was like, how is that a thing? He was like, you should be wearing your glasses when you're working. I'm like, why would I want to deteriorate my vision yeah <laughs> just to get <laughs> um once you've got your spiral i'm gonna bend bend that so it goes fl- straight over and then in the center we're going to create a little right angle bend and that's to create your earring post so then all you need to do is pop on a little bit of glue on here and these flowers have very conveniently got little dips on the back so when ah. i made it i just put glue in the dip oh ah, my... it literally just sticks on yeah put my put my little that that one's too long <laughs> but you trim this off obviously after you've made Can it you see that if i move the jewelry i don't know if uh here we are is that there we are Can it be seen on the other side? I don't know. To my right, yep. (laughs) (laughs) 
There you go. So literally just glue it in the little in the yeah. little well. So that's what I did. There's a little tiny well in there and I popped some glue in and then I left the wire in and I left it overnight. It depends what your glue instructions say. Yeah. They're all different. But I just left it in overnight and then all I did was pop a jump ring through and then do and just put a citrine on a head pin. Nice. So it was a nice and simple addition. But what I just thought of now is is doing this, but just with one flower, and then, so if you did it the other way around, and this is what I, um, I, I did in some of the other decks. I really like this leaf. Um, this leaf wire is just really lovely, or like the vine. And when I used it in another kit, I actually used them, you can actually cut, if you cut the leaves off either side, you can then create a wrapped loop, uh, sorry, a loop with the wire that you've got left. And I made some little earrings like that last time. But what I was thinking this time is actually, you can cut these off. And then if you were making just a single one, if I cut that off so you can see, what I you could actually, sunflowers. yeah, what you could do, Put the glue inside. Ah! Look! Ah! That's lovely. Oh, I just thought of it just now, and I was like, "That is so sweet." And then the jump ring would go at the top, and that would attach to your. Ah, that would attach to your I ear love wire. It. Little sunflowers. Yeah. And look, you can get both, which is what sixty-four inches. Yeah of your gallery wire and all your labyrinth cabochons for 50 pounds and i just thought they're so sweet that's just because i mix metals are really in at the moment yeah. aren't they yeah massively um, so. and i just thought how lovely <coughs> how lovely that you can make little flowers with it <laughs> beautiful beautiful little sunflowers yeah. they're just joyful um now we've just put the graphics live for the gold because as you can see there's only 10 left so if your name is, well, if you are Cumbria, Zara, Janina, Sharon, Angus, London, and Jean, um, because some Sharon's got two in a basket, Angus has got two in a basket, or if you haven't yet dialed through, um, I would encourage doing so sooner rather than later because we've got nine left. Um, so do check out. Um, how are we doing on quantity of the silver kit? Okay, so st very limited on the silver as well. Um, very, very limited on the silver ones too. Um, now, don't forget as well, we've got those absolutely unbelievable pearls coming your way as well. Um, Multi-tone, lots of amazing colours. Um, totally natural. We're going to do a massive closeout deal, which is just ridiculous. Um, and also, we've got your Marbe pearl earrings coming up as well. Very last opportunity to get hold of those. Um, so yeah, if you're loving, if you've got the earrings that I'm wearing, yeah, these are coming. Are we doing them next? Awesome. So not too long to wait for those as well. Um, the final four, final four, Lavinia, well done. Samantha's there on the phone lines. Patricia in Manchester on the phone lines. Uh, Zara, Janina, Sharon, Angus, London, and Jean. So if you want to try <laughs> Ellie's lovely sunflower idea. I mean, sunflowers are just happy, aren't they? They are. They just fill me with joy <laughs> so i was like oh the <laughs> way they turn their heads towards the sun yeah, i mean i think no. that's flowers in general to be honest yeah it's lovely though isn't it that lovely. they all you see a field of them and they'll all be facing I'll be like, the Ooh. Mm -hmm. i'm here yeah <laughs> <laughs> if a sunflower did have like some kind of movement it would be that wouldn't it yeah something like that little jazz hand <laughs> yeah love it love it love it now jewelry makers don't go anywhere because the marbe pearl earrings are coming up um fyi we have 22 pairs available I, I this is going to be the last opportunity um yeah the last opportunity that we have to get hold of these they're stunningly beautiful and um, they were launched not so long ago marbe pearl i'll explain what it is if you're not sure what a marbe pearl is incredibly rare and usually very very expensive but up next in the star buy final chance after this
Now, um, I am very well aware people will be thinking, what's Marbe? What's a Marbe pearl? What does it mean? I'm going to show you this. And it's like, this literally sits in our gallery. I know, I love it. I know. That's why I that little giggle. Gallery. I was like, oh, it's so close. It, <laughs> yeah, look at this. Um, so this is a South Sea oyster. And you can see that by the exterior. So this is obviously the outside um, of the South Sea shell. This is quite a small South Sea. Um, but... You can see those beautiful, like, it's, called, it's quite often referred to as a golden lip oyster. Yeah. But, um, so what, uh, a South Sea oyster will produce multiple pearls. Multiple pearls, they'll actually go through the culturing process uh, on a few occasions within the oyster's life cycle. However, a sh a, an oyster may, and it is a big may, only may produce a marbe. Mm -hmm. Not all will produce marbe pearls. And they only become available when um, the oyster um, basically dies, when they die. Because obviously then you can actually take the marbe, you can take the marbe pearl. So if I turn this over in this direction, you will see that you have three marbe pearls. Not every oyster will do this. They're often referred to as blister pearls as well, but I prefer marbe. And in effect, it's like half a pearl, where it hasn't, it's not perf, it's not spherical. It actually grows as part of the actual shell itself. So what it also means is when we come to use your marbe pearls in jewelry, you actually get the added strength of the oyster shell itself because they're cut with the shell. So again, these aren't my words, but I have an article talking about what marbe pearls are. Marbe, pronounced exactly that way, marbe, um, are a unique and beautiful alternative to tr traditional pearls. Also known as blister or half pearls, they grow on the inside of an oyster shell. The pearls are then cut from the shell filed um and they're back sealed with mother of pearl caps um well i i'm yeah it's not because actually they've got the mother of pearl on it already because they're cut with the shell um they are usually dome shaped with a black uh with a flat back uh the chinese are considered to be the true inventors of the blister pearl well i think yes that's the same with all things pearls really um which is a type of cultural pearl the earliest finds in china of an acreous layer of pearl grown <coughs> around um a lead image of a buddha have been dated back to as far as the 12th century wow Marbe pearls uh, became better known in the 1950s as an affordable and fashionable way to wear large pearls. Uh, for the White South Sea culture pearl, which is what we have today, your Marbe pearls are White South Sea, um, that we have today are widely unavailable. Uh, Japanese companies started to produce p uh, blister pearls on uh, the Ryukyu. Uh, islands between Japan and Taiwan. The word Marbe possibly comes from the old dialect spoken on those islands. Today, Marbe pearls are still produced in Japan and China, but also in Indonesia, the Philippines, Thailand, and French Polynesia. So these are, for example, your Tahitian Marbe. Every oyster can produce a Marbe, but it's not guaranteed, obviously. Um, so this is a Tahitian Marbe. Um, you can see the, what they call the black lip oyster. Um, the shell itself actually doesn't have one, but here it is actually close up. Um, you get an abundance of nacre as well, so they're often very, very lustrous. Again, not particularly nice marbe pills there, I'm going to say. Not really that usable. However, when you look at first dibs, you can see prices for marbe pills like this. Um, 1,358. Tiffany's & Co. marbe pearl earrings. £2,800. The ones most like ours today um, are next £5,208. Uh, they've got the halo of diamonds. You've got 2083 You've got an Edwardian Marbe Pearl pendant at £1,000. You've got platinum sapphire Marbe Pearl cufflinks at £9,000. Um, got the, these are beautiful, aren't they? Mm. Marbe pearl with diamond earrings set in 18 karat white gold, three thousand eight hundred pounds. I found these on eBay, which I oh, were they eBay? Etsy. Yeah, Etsy is it? Um, I'd be cautious of that personally. Um, one thousand three hundred ninety-five pounds. Um, I'd want to research it to feel confident. So it does. It does say that they're 18 karat gold and marbe pearls. Mm. So in which case, that's a great price. Great, great price. You are not going to be paying anywhere near the four figures. Um, check this out as well. Again, this was a rare find. £4,917, but that is a massive Marbe. Or is it? Or is it? Because actually, if you think, if you, you know, 
you'd look at her finger behind when it just to put it into perspective if I put my finger behind it looks huge they're actually at a very similar size they look huge I think it's just the camera angle um, again we've got one more to show you I'd be, I'd be curious of that one because that's a very affordable price tag for a Marbe pearl. Um, and um, a favourite of a Princess Diana. She used to wear Marbe pearls quite frequently, um, because, particularly in the ear because they, they sit very beautifully in the ear as well. Um, if you imagine that this was a full spherical pearl that they would actually tilt forward somewhat. Um, now, we launched these. We had the ring, which we actually had earlier on this morning. and um, We had a pendant. I think they've all but sold out. We're now down to the final few. Hello, Caroline. Lovely. Um, it's an amazing sea creature that can make something beautiful like that. It's stunning. And I own uh, Marbe Pearls um, and the Complete Shell, too. They're incredible, aren't they? Mm. I agree, Caroline. They're so beautiful. It's such a classy pair of earrings. Now, these are in solid 925 sterling silver. You have a halo of not zirconia. These are, these are zircon, which is a Mother Nature genuine gemstone. Um, so, halo of zircon, significantly rarer than diamonds. And again, yours are South Sea Marbe pearls. Um, that's why you can see that beautiful golden light -like color. There are just 18 available because already we've got collectors getting involved. Now, we have always close these at a lower price point than what's on your screens although that's amazing don't you think because effectively you've got two that one which we saw at 250 which you know even if that is all, all legit genuine marbe pearl solid sterling silver at 250 pounds all legit I, I'm, I'm guessing that's synthetic, personally. You're getting two Marbe pearls. You're not just getting the one. And yours is South Sea as well. And you've got all that zircon. These have always closed at £179 previously. However, today... We're going to go even lower. I'm going to take these off. These are studio samples, so don't worry. Nobody will be getting these. Um, and can I just say that on the screen, you can't see the, like, the, shimmer that's The amount on, of luster you yeah, get. Yeah, that's on the front of them. Yeah, they're amazing. Like, almost the rainbow play of colours that goes across that gold. It's beautiful, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. They are stunning. Um, budget only was the only reason why I didn't get hold of these on the original launch. Mm. We are about to do a huge, huge reduction, jewellery makers. Beautifully golden. Hazel, Angela, Gloria and Wendy, you've done it. £80 back into your pocket today. I hope they don't sell out. Because I literally, I, can I buy the studio samples? Oh my goodness me. Rupal, Hazel, Angela, Gloria, Wendy. I've got Cheryl, Merseyside, Caroline, Wendy. You've got to remember that's for two. So mm. earrings are actually, most people are like, oh no, earrings will be less expensive. No, no, it's double. So it, it, you know, they, they are generally double the price. And you've got your split pay, £25 only. A halo of colourless zircon, all set in a huge amount of sterling silver. Look at the investment in the butterfly backs. Um, these will sell out. Angela says, I'll have two pairs. Oh, Angela, they're amazing. Absolutely beautiful. And Ellie's what, so, so right to point that out. It's the beautiful um, iridescent colours that you get across the surface of your Marbe pearls. Debbie, Angela, Patricia, Rupal, Cheryl, Hazel, Gloria, Wendy. Um, I've also got Toyin, uh, Maker, Merseyside, Caroline, Wendy. Hello, Gloria. Oh, dear, picking myself up on the floor. <laughs> um, well done, though, Gloria. But I tell you what, Gloria, you, you managed to get yourself some. Was that checking out whilst you were still on the floor or? 
Um, from a laying down position. position. Oh, yeah, I just stay there. Just stay laid down, literally check out my basket. Uh, well done, everybody. You can still do it, but you do need to be quick. Kathy, Chris and G uh, Jean, hello to you. Uh, Toya, new customers, I don't need to miss out on this deal because that is unbelievable. Well done to you, Ronald. Well done to you, Kathy, just up the road in lovely Warwickshire. Chris and Jean waiting to be answered on the phone lines. Sharon in Caffilly, hello Sharon and Joanne in Norfolk. They're insanely beautiful. Mm. And it is gonna set, be a sellout. Well done. For, for Marbay Pearls. It is one of the best deals and they're so beautiful, aren't they? So, so, so beautiful. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Okay. If you love your pearls, then we have more. I'm Very... excited about these. Oh, <laughs> Ellie. Do you know, I think before I started here at Jewelry Maker, and I used to, like I said, look after pearls. I liked pearls, but I don't, didn't love them as much yeah. as I do now. And that is down to the quality that Jewelry Maker offer. And I genuinely, genuinely um, don't think you can find the quality of pearls that we offer you here at Jewelry Maker at the prices that we do anywhere else in the world. No. I know it's a big statement. It's coming your way in about 10, 15 minutes time. But first. I'm going to say the ring. Now, we have some Zodiac rings. I've never seen these before. Okay, in gold plated and in silver. I've never seen these before. No, I haven't. Okay, so firstly, you get the most beautiful cut gemstone. I assume in the birthstones. And then... Oh, oh you get the that. Zodiac sign. Oh my goodness, I've never seen these before. They're adjustable as well, so it's one, one size fits all. Oh, lovely. How nice is that? So what, you can choose your star sign. And obviously they come with a gemstone as well. So I have here... Oh, there we go. Ads are showing us now. So you click on your star sign at the bottom. Can you see? So this is the graphics. And then you click on your horoscope. And then that will give you the piece of jewellery. Yeah? And that gives you the piece of the jewellery. Click on September. Click, uh, click on, sorry, Virgo. It's because there's crossover, isn't there? And star signs are, yeah. are mid month to mid month. Okay. Do you know this is more about like your zodiac? So you, yeah. I love that. I mean, it's not something we see a lot of birthstones, don't we? Yes. Yeah. We don't actually see that much of your zodiacs. No. So. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it's your usual birthstone. Is our point? Yeah. So, for example, um, Laura is Aquarius. She says which is normally January or February. Okay, but so just, yeah, it's a sign. It's the sign and you're getting the gemstone as well. Mm. Um, and they are adjustable. How lovely are these? And are they easy to set, would you say, Ellie? I would say so. I haven't actually worked with these sorts of settings before, so it's not something that I have um, Well, I've you get done. the instructions as well by Charlie. Yes, and I believe, oh, okay. Then no, she'll have it all um, covered. She'll have it all covered, yeah. Oh, there you go, look. Obviously that's not properly set. Yeah. But you get the idea. Oh, look at that. They're lovely, Literally cradle it over. You get the instructions. So we can show you the actual symbols. Um, ah, there you go. But I'm guessing you probably know your your symbol there. So Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra. Scor yeah, if it's your star sign, you're probably going to know your own. Um, Adam's Libra, did you say? Where? 
Oh yeah, bottom yeah. left. <laughs> Complete opposite. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the rings. Oh. <laughs> right. I see, I see, I see. So I'm Virgo, which is the peridot, isn't it? Yeah. I'm Virgo. So there was a list a one. minute ago that came up, I think, on this screen, and it had a list of the. It had a list of the net of the star signs, and then which gem it came with. Just grab your star sign, basically, yeah. and then you get the gemstone that that suits. Um, okay, nineteen ninety nine. Mm. Amazing. Well, yeah, per uh, Virgo could be either uh, could it be either sapphire or or, uh, or peridot. It's gone with peridot. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that the, each star sign has a designated gemstone. Um, 1999 already collectors getting involved. Yeah, we've made a right hash of this, haven't we? Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <gasps> oh, wow. That's amazing. We've taken it to a tenner because we'll be honest, we've been a bit clueless during this auction. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got to admire our honesty, haven't you? If nothing else, we're very honest. We're like, ah, oh, okay, so why, what? It's not, don't focus much on the gemstone, focus on your star sign. Yeah, it's the star um, sign. The star sign. Um, and then you get a coordinating gemstone. Um, amazing. So, yeah, get the drop down. Um, some of those are single figures, so I'll leave that with you. Congratulations. Coming up in one auctions, what did you say? A lovely silver. Very Tiffany's Elsa and Pretty, uh, Elsa Pretty inspired cuff. Big amount of silver in this. Mm. Coming up in one auction's time. You could engrave it. You can actually um, resin it if you wanted yeah. to. You could enamel it if you wanted to. We had crushed gemstones, we did. didn't we? And that would be nice in resin. Yeah, that was with Charlie with as well, that, wasn't yeah. it? Um, we're actually going to do the silver of the zodiac rings though as well. So the ones that I saw. Oh, here they are. Look, I told you. Oh, uh, here you go. To so it. silver zodiac adjustable ring. Yeah. Um, with amethyst, Aries with aquamarine, uh, Taurus is with white topaz, Gemini is with emerald, Cancer is with mother of pearl, Leo is with ruby, uh, Virgo is with peridot, Libra is with sapphire. Scorpio is with Ethiopian Opal. Sagittarius is with Citrine. Uh, Capricorns with Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. And then Aquarius is with Garnet. There you go. There you go. So now you know. Lovely. That's the list we needed. Um, I'll leave it with you at 7 99 Yeah, we made a right pig's ear of that, didn't we? <laughs> Let's do what that beautiful. So I'm going to ask you, I know I haven't got a photograph of this, but if we were to Google Elsa Peretti uh silver cuff you'd have something like this come up um because it's one of our most iconic designs in actual fact this really beautiful kind of statement sterling silver cuff if i take it off for a second um it's one size fits all um if you were to go to tiffany's and co there it is there's the inspiration you are talking about four figures i mean it's quite a wide cuff yeah um, but you're talking about four figures, Tiffany's and Co. Elsa Peretti. But again, you've got that beautiful inspiration, that lovely seam. Um, so if I show you in that direction, you can easily engrave, you can easily encrust. And there's that beautiful sort of fluid wave inspired by Elsa Peretti. Now, this is solid sterling silver. Um, you know we're not stopping anywhere near £2,240. We have 21 available opportunities. As Ellie said... We did have sort of like a um, gemstone granules, didn't we? Yeah. That you could easily set into resin. You could, uh, and I think I'm, I'm fairly sure that's what Charlie demoed. Um, already very, very, very low. How much silver is that? It's quite well. There's a lot of silver, isn't there? A lot of gram weight there. Would be great in. Bologna shell inlay, yeah, that would be lovely. With the clock, we're not even stopping there. We are going even lower. 30 seconds, we go even lower. We've got 20 available opportunities. It's already on split pay. Okay, hang on a minute. What does our graphic say, gram weight? I think on the 18 points. Uh, yeah, 18.2 grams, that's what I got too. 
18.2 grams of solid sterling silver and we're at a double figure price tag amazing going even lower though jewelry makers it's one size fits all that's the joy of a talk Sixty nine ninety nine. Wow. Can I feel our weight here? Yeah. Oh yeah. Substantial, isn't it? it? Is, yeah. yeah, it's really nice. That's a that's a that's you know, yeah, like you said, that's a heavyweight piece of precious metal mm. and you've got it for sixty nine ninety nine today as a closeout deal. Only seventeen available though, jewelry makers. So again, make sure you are checking out your baskets. Um yeah, it was it was fantastic at ninety nine ninety nine. Mm. When you think you know, if there's 18 grams, that's a lot. Um, and again, it is actually engraved as well. So not engraved, sorry, um, hallmarked as well. Uh, so again, make sure you're checking out your baskets. Uh, lots of collectors already doing exactly that. Don't forget those beautiful pearls that are coming up as well, jewelry makers. Joanne in Shropshire, Jane in Caffilly, maker on the phone lines, Joanne in Norfolk as well. Morning, lovely ladies. Lovely to have your company this morning. Um, what's that, sorry? 23.33 on split pay. Gosh, that's very good, isn't it? For just shy mm. under, of 20 grams. You haven't got to wait for your 0% interest payments to go through. No, you literally have it ho have it home within a few days. How amazing is that? A talk I love talk bangles because they're really comfortable to wear. Yeah. And you can literally mold it to the size of your um, size of your wrist. Literally squeeze it yeah. around like so really comfortable to wear talk bangles um well done everybody make sure you're checking out down to the final five of these um amazing right it is time for your beautiful pearls yay now <laughs> yeah i know these are on another level and look it's, we can bring you pearls for not often but we can bring you more in, um inexpensive pearls we can bring them to you for 15 pounds say 20 pounds on occasions but these are not the same these are the pearls the caliber that you would find on Hatton, in Hatton Garden on Bond Street in Harrods in Place Vendôme they are that ilk they are premium quality pearls and the fact that they are ticking every single one of the GIA the Gemological Institute of America their quality factors tells us that the price of pearls like this have gone through the roof deservingly so i think but today you're going to get it at an amazing star buy <laughs> um now we have just 17 of these available and I'm going, I'm going to ask you Laura to go back to the GIA. So the GIA, um, these aren't my words, it's who I did my training with and who a lot of the uh, Gemporia team have done their uh, uh, qualifications with. That's a um, Gemological Institute of America is the, the largest institution in the gemstone world and certainly one of the most respected. Um, and all their information is accessible to you as well. So if ever you want to do some research um, on any gemstone, you can absolutely do that. But if you go to the GIA and start researching pearls, this is one of their paragraphs, if you like, or chapters. Um, and they say pearl quality factors. So because pearls come in so many different variations. Now, I do understand somebody that's maybe not as educated as many of you you know, what is it I'm looking for that, you know, which pearls do I gravitate towards? Firstly, I'm going to say beauty should always be the deciding factor. It should be. It doesn't matter to me. You know, this is what I've always thought. It doesn't matter how rare, a, how rare a gemstone is or um, how expensive a gemstone is. If it's not beautiful to you, then that's by the by, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So beauty should be the number one deciding factor for you all. But again, pearl quality factors, um, so they say the qualities uh, that determine the overall value of a natural or cultured pearl or a piece of pearl jewellery are size, shape, colour, luster, surface, qu oh, surface quality, nacre quality and for jewellery with two or more pearls, matching. That's something I don't mention enough. Now first, size. 
when other value factors are equal larger pearls are rarer and more valuable than smaller pearls i think that's fairly obvious the same applies with all of your uh, um, like diamonds sapphires rubies etc and um, because obviously you get they, they take more time to actually culture and nurture can i also point out that these pearls that you have will be one pearl per oyster shell they won't have loads crammed in there it'll be one per oyster then we start talking about shape Round is the most difficult shape to culture, making it the rarest cultured pearl shape and, if all other factors are equal, also generally the most valuable. There are exceptions though, well-formed pears, ovals or baroques, irregularly shaped pearls. Culture pearls are also prized by pearl lovers and you can see there on that photograph, you can see examples of that, rounds, near rounds to your more sort of uh, irregular shapes, your baroques and your pears. Um, then we start talking about, sorry, just going back one, minute, one second to the shape. These are perfectly spherical. Every cultured pearl that is harvested, is in the, they endeavour to create the perfect round. Because like that article just said, they, they are the most expensive. They don't always get the perfect round, but that's the ambition. Then we start talking about shape. Sorry, colour. Uh, natural and cultured pearls occur, occur in a broad range of hues. There are warm hues like yellow, orange, pink and cool hues like blue, green and violet. Pearls with a wide range of tone from light to dark, pearls tend, uh, colour tends to be muted with a soft subtle quality tends to be but when they have a wide range of colors and they are bright and obvious like multi-tone like these they absolutely skyrocket in price point moving on pearl colors have also got three components so it's not just it's not as straightforward as going that's a pink pearl that's a white pearl yes that's the body color which this will explain but they actually have overtones so a body color is the pearl's dominant overall color so you might look at these and go they're black pearls yeah um but overtones is one or more translucent color that lies over the pearl's body color and orient is a shimmer of iridescent rainbow colors on or just below the pearl's surface all pearls display body colors yeah um, but only some show overtone, orient, or both. Yours absolutely have, yeah, an abundance of overtone, orient, you have both. The law of supply and demand determines uh, the value of certain pearl colors at any given time. If supplies of high quality pearls display a preferred color are low, their prices can rise unusually high levels. Other complex factors like fashion trends and cultural traditions can influence color preferences. Well, we know that we're seeing it right now. You know, Nini, nee nee. we've seen, you know, you know, China's insatiable appetite for pills right now. That's why they're simply not exporting them, um, particularly of the impossible pearl, the lovely purple pearl like this. Lastly, the, the, the most important of your uh, quality factors is luster. Of the seven pearl, I always say five, just because you start talking about overtones, it orients and things like that, but we can simplify it. Luster is the most important of them all. Uh, might be the most important. Luster is what gives a natural or cultured pearl its unique beauty. We've already gone through this, but I will again. If the grade is excellent, whereas the uh, reflection of the pearl is bright and sharp, or if it is very good, reflections appear bright or near sharp. Good, you're talking about reflections are bright but not sharp, slightly hazy around the edges. And I'm not even going to mention fair or good. To be honest, these are excellent. You can see that. They are literally mirror-like. I think these are more lustrous than the pearls that are photographed in the top row of the GIA. Now, I want to show you, because this is a massive closeout deal, a price point that you are not paying today. They are perfectly graduated, <coughs> naturally metallic, nine to 11 millimeter one L you're right you're right you know we have rachel who buys a lot of the pearls for our sister channel produce and i know she's producing tomorrow right she was saying i can't buy the pearls at the prices that jewelry maker actually bring them to air 
Okay, so this is interesting because, yeah, Laura's just saying um, we did an amazing showcase of, of top quills, uh, top pills the other week, and um, it was this price singly, singly for, in a ring. You're getting a full 360 strand, and we're not stopping anywhere near that. Can I show you as well another price point? Oh my goodness, they're amazing, aren't they? So good absolutely amazing not paying 4.99 oh my goodness okay i've just heard what laura's taken these two and it's are you sure can you bear with me a second because these are so beautiful that i think we need to appreciate how close can you get me i think we need to appreciate every single one Look, look at that, that's like 24 karat gold. They are like little beautiful. Jewelry makers, look at these, natural pink, natural, look at that, like 24 karat gold. This is your final price jewelry makers for absolutely beautiful quality, natural, multi-hues. Yes. <gasps> oh, that one, that one's my favorite. <laughs> Two, four, nine. Oh. Unbelievable. It is the very, look, you can get this home for under 50 pounds today. It is the very, very, very last of stock opportunities, jewelry makers. Remember, look, when we showed that clip of, and I know I always reference it, but it is so it's so important. It's a general conversation that Dave's having with, um, with a pearl supplier over in Hong Kong. At the beginning of this year, we went to Hong Kong fully expecting, knowing that we weren't gonna come away with any pearls. Um, but it was a, com a conversation. But what I really, really, really want you uh, want want to draw attention to the fact is that he said that she was saying, look, rare, very rare, because of the colour, because of the size, because metallic. You know, she talks about these things, doesn't she? These beautiful, beautiful traits, um, and you're getting it. And then, th and the prices she's saying are like five, seven thousand. Um, 249 pounds, Angela, Vivian, Joanne in Norfolk, uh, Alice in County Durham, well done. Uh, new customers getting involved. I've only got nine opportunities remaining. Do you want to see it up at the neckline? Yeah. The colours are amazing. And again, you can't, you can see on screen a bit, but you can't see. They're even better in person. They are, yeah. These are, these are, the, the, the overtones on these, they're probably some of the most, that's why it says multi-hue. You get so many overtones. Yeah. It's not just one body color. It's hard. Yeah. So you can nice. get this home. Look, some of them are almost blue. Can you see that? Almost blue. And that's the rarest color to get in any pearl. 249 pounds. Um, okay, we're gonna have to put a clock on your screen, jewelry makers. We have taken these far too low, just because of. It's all down to your preference. Would you rather? Um, would you rather per baroque pearls? Would you rather um, perfectly spherical white pearls? Would you rather sort of the more Yoko of London multicolored pearls, which you know are commanding tens of thousands of pounds at the moment and are completely inaccessible would you like your pearls to have the most amazing metallic luster would you like them not just to have one color but to have a multitude across the surface well if that's the case then it's definitely this strand for you you can get it home for 49 pounds 80 if you've got it in your basket so if you are joanne in norfolk if you are cheryl in london if you are new customers in manchester um anonymous collectors on the phone lines make sure you're checking out this is a massive closeout deal 499 was a unbelievable 999 is unbelievable you remember on our own sister channel you were getting individual rings for more way more hello caroline um i honestly thought your pearls couldn't be real or of quality until uh, i bought them now i buy from you only they're superb me too caroline yeah absolutely i agree sometimes you know what caroline it's interesting you say that Sometimes we don't do ourselves any favors. And let me explain, because you can, and I remember having a conversation with Steve Bennett about it some, time, uh, some years ago, but he was like, um, we can price things too low. Because yeah. if you price things too low, we automatically have that skeptical radar, mm -hmm. don't we? And we're like, oh no, it can't be real. 
or something. There's something there. I'm totally with you on that, Caroline. I totally, totally agree with you. Um, but it's not the case, is it? Thank you. I appreciate you messaging in. Um, yeah, these are not too good to be true. I assure you of that. How we're, it's just because we've, we operate very differently to other retailers. Um, that kind of quantity is not sustainable within our vault. So make sure you do check them out and secure that amazing star by deal. Uh, don't go anywhere, jewelry makers, because coming up just after the break, we've got a very colorful um, deal of the day. All of your beautiful slider bracelets. So we have your Chrysoprase, we've got Morganite, Amethyst, um, Aquamarine and Black Spinel. And also don't forget in the 11 o'clock hour, we have one of the biggest auctions of the week. Um, we haven't mentioned it all week because we didn't realize, uh, realize that it was actually going to be touching down yesterday. Um, so we bought the, probably one of the biggest auctions in Cotan history here at Jewelry Maker some weeks ago, months ago probably. Um, 300 and it went to the lowest price. We're one of the most valuable gemstones in the world. We've been allowed 100 for today's auction opportunity and we've been allowed to honour that same price. Don't go anywhere, your dealer day is up after this. Good morning everyone, it is now just turned half past five. And I've just got to the allotment to do a few chores before the day heats up and I wanted to tell you about Saturday's show. I'm going to be joining the wonderful Vicky Carroll who's going to be joining me in the studio and I just want to tell you about my two project hours. At nine o'clock I've got the most amazing bead boxes containing three of my favourite products, Aura Quartz, Shell Pearl and Diamond Tubing in two beautiful colourways and at midday the long-awaited return of porcelain beads two beautiful kits again containing silk with a needle and also the most beautiful shell pearls so that's this saturday the 3rd of august join myself and vicky from eight o'clock and i better go and uh, do a bit of watering Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. 
Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. I just say as well I'm going up in the world look at this you want one I think you should be allowed to have one because you do enough shift look firstly check out our new go speak to Liam check out our lovely new coffee cups I love the fact that still we're not allowed to actually have cups here in the studio that we can't be trusted I'm not allowed no but oh <laughs> If you go onto Sewing Street, they've all got mugs. We have to have beakers. <laughs> I like it though, because look, it's got my name on there as well. Liam did that for the with that new tool, the Expra X X tool. It's amazing, isn't it? Right. Anyway, okay, jewelry makers. Um, let's talk about slider bracelets because they are an absolute staple i think for um in jewelry design i think the popularity of them skyrocketed i don't don't quote me on this but round about i'm going to say 2014 that's certainly what i recall actually seeing them um give or take but again they're huge aren't they and i think certain designs really did play their part in that so what is a slider bracelet for those people that don't know um, so a slider bracelet is easy to put on yourself and super adjustable. Uh, slider bracelets make brilliant gifts because you don't have to worry about sizing. These bracelets uh, um, for women or men, I'm going to say, are so adjustable that it really is uh, one size fits all. Slider bracelets will fit most, if not all, wrist size. Um, we love that there are no fiddly clasps, which is also perfect for people who have difficulty with small clasps because of arthritis or other conditions. Um, they're also quick to put on, which saves time for us busy, I'm going to say people, people, not just women. Slide bracelet, Victorian elegance, the perfect heirloom. Uh, slide bracelets were born, it's amazing, in the Victoria er Victorian era. Watches and wristwatches were beginning to be produced and the heavy hunting case watches started to become more um, of an or ornamental item. Uh, women began wearing these hunting cases watches as necklaces, a unique item, and the bracelet watch slide was born right back in the Victorian era. A slider is not just a, not a burger. <laughs> or a shoe, yeah. It's a new jewellery trend, a precious and convenient system that gracefully ends your bracelet. Have you never heard burgers called sliders? Yeah, they're like the little ones, mini ones, yeah. It's a very American term. No, not like a massive burger, just like the little mini ones. They're called sliders as well, yeah. Um, but as you can see on this photograph here, this is going back to 2017, but yeah, it shows you how they work. They can be incredibly decorative, but again, also amazingly practical. Uh, putting on and closing a bracelet uh, on your own has often, if not always, been a hassle. Isn't that true, folks? Although the slider system does not seem like a, an innovation per se, um, it appears like a revolutionary way to adjust fine jewellery bracelets like no other. The slider system, I like the fact they call it system, um, was a common practice in costume jewellery, enabling to adjust um, to a perfect length, a bracelet made of all kinds of fabrics. Um, what worked for fashion jewellery could uh, not be adapted 
to real jewellery due to metal constraints and flexibilities. As a matter of fact, when it comes to class, jewellery has been uh, very creative over the years, transforming large and heavy class into spring rings or lobster class, effective and elegant. Um, it is still working well on most of light to medium necklaces and bracelets. Uh, Piaget, big user of the slider uh, element. Uh, Piaget embodied this new trend closure um, with its possession bracelet, a matching sliding necklace, a set with red carnelian stones uh, and scintillating diamonds. The rose gold chain ends uh, ends up with a P-charm gold letter, for Piaget obviously, uh, like a precious amulet dancing around your wrist dancing around your wrist. At Gemma Wynn, the closure is thought as a unique design element, a precious detail to finish sophisticated pieces with a strong fashion sensibility. Uh, for the Privé Luxe Diamond Slider Bracelet, um, the creative duo has conceived an adjustable charm that makes it easy to find a perfect fit. Handmade from 18 carat rose, yellow or white gold, this elegant bracelet is studded with 70 points of uh, light catching diamonds a must-have piece for your ready-to-wear jewelry collections um and they go on here we go uh sarah weinstock um is getting more getting even more precious and uh, with her 18 carat yellow gold gold bolo bracelet featuring adjustable white diamond studded charms joining two flexible links embellished with um with further white diamonds um ornamental stones aren't enough anymore now it's all about the closing details they say I love it. And not only is it practical, it's also about the action, making it beautiful as well. I loved how Piaget say this gorgeous cascade dancing around your wrist. De Beers just here. It's, a fo it's an odd photo. I'm not going to lie. Now this, I wanted to show this because you might look at that. It's tiny. There's a little diamond in there. 900 pounds. It's literally, look, look at that. 0.03 carats. It's on cord. Not even, it's De Beers. It's De Beers. Now, check out this tea bar jewelry makers, because you have. Now, we have limited quantities. It's quite a limited quantity of your deal a day. Chrysoprase, Morganite, Aquamarine, Black Spinel, and we have your Amethyst. Now, we're going to start with the Chrysoprase. Believe it or not, totally and utterly natural it's one of my favorite gemstones um again a beautiful gem which is being used i'm just going to skip through all this i think laura um just go straight to the no it's okay just go straight oh no maybe read this because it is lovely hi debbie saying l i have just spent quarter of an hour putting on a lobster class bracelet um and then seconds putting on a slider um i'm too old to waste the time debbie uh, I, I, I get you. It's so frustrating. And Debbie, I admire your commitment there because I have got l little patience. If I can't do it within like a couple of minutes, I ain't wearing that piece of jewellery. So I agree. And it's tricky, isn't it, putting a bracelet on yourself? So a slider bracelet revolutionises that. Um, but let's talk about chrysoprase for a second because we don't see it very often. There's a lovely lilt to the word chrysoprase. It just kind of rolls off the tongue like it belongs in a w William Wordsworth poem and the name match it, uh, and the stone matches its name. Chrysoprase varies from a sea, uh, soft sea green to a darker piney shade. The word comes from uh, the Greek priest meaning gold or yellow and praise which refers to the color green the darker varieties of chrysoprase are sometimes called praise one of the more valuable varieties of chalcedony chrysoprase contains small quantities of nickel which gives you that beautiful green color but let's just flick forward to actually some lovely pieces of chrysoprase jewelry um, pieces like this um, again you've got a little polar bear there sat on a green rock um uh this one here from uh jordan clary in nevada love that teamed with beautiful diamonds and prey but tourmaline piaget you've got fred panasucra ring just there with diamonds uh piaget once again using it um this is a vintage piece by uh renee kern um that sold by the way for twelve and a half thousand um and just to show you as well dior are working with chrysoprase 
Uh, Tiffany's & Co is the book that's propped open by the boulder. So lots of big designers. Um, I also know it's a firm favourite of Harry Winston. So we have 50 jewellery makers, that's it. We've got to remember as well, you are effectively, I know they're finished components, you can deconstruct them, you can embellish them further if you wanted to, but in effect you'd have to buy the sterling silver slider and you'd have to buy the strand of chrysoprase. Do shop ahead on the other ones. Um, the quality of your chrysoprase is absolutely amazing. Do you know what? I'm going to just, just put, I'm just going to put you on the spot here, Laura. I'm sure uh, this is something gems do, right? How much do these go for? Okay. So, for Christ's appraise, because of the rarity, and it is, it is expensive, and it is natural, you'd be talking Australian. So this is what they often refer to as Australian jade. Um, you'd be talking, she said, about forty nine ninety nine would be their goal. Yeah. We do have fantastic connections in Australia, so that might help a little bit with the price point. I know today that yours is not closing at forty nine ninety nine. This weekend is all about giftable opportunities. Now, a slider bracelet could not be any more giftable because, look, I've just... Literally pop this on whilst talking to you. No hassle, no stress. Slide a bracelet, take seconds. Beautiful with that vibrant pop of colour, that vi vivacious green, and it is one size fits all. Lots of the, our jewellery maker customers will make a slider bracelet, but then, like I said, you've got to buy the sterling silver slider and you have to buy the gemstone strand itself. Um, let's just put it this way. It's not worth your while today. You're better off actually buying it as a finished component. Um, and you've got to factor in your time. The clock is ticking away, jewellery makers. We could have stopped at 49.99. We're at 29 pounds and 99 pence. <coughs> but what time is it? It's a 10 o'clock hour. It's a deal of the day. That's not your dealer day price. That means it's got to be the biggest auction of the day. And by the way, that tends to have a knock-on effect with all of your dealer day bracelets. Pop them away for Christmas. I know. Stocking fillers. Listen, it's August now. I start fretting if I haven't made a considerable dent in my Christmas shopping come August. I do. Pop them in the present drawer. £19.99 pence only. Already, jewellery makers, so many of you getting involved. Um, well done. I've only got 50, though. Beautiful, beautiful chrysoprase. Designers like Piaget, designers like Dior, Harry Winston. Uh, what? No, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, wait. Okay, for whatever reason, I get it's glorious sunshine. We are not nearly busy enough on, on a deal of the day product. These have been specifically bought for knowing that's a fantastic deal. You've got the quality of the gemstones and you've got the sterling silver. And our aim was at 19.99. However, I'm gonna be completely upfront and honest. Not nearly enough of these have gone. We can't bring a dealer day to air and only sell a handful. That means we have to go lower. This is ridiculous though. Do you know what we're making? Do you know what we're making? Sorry. Do you know what we're making on this? Friends. That's it. Literally friends. But I need to make it clear that that this I, well I don't know Laura maybe it's something that they don't our, our, our buying team don't buy moving forward but we couldn't sure that's the price of the slider bracelet let alone the chrysoprase we were meant to be double that price we were being cheeky taking it to nineteen ninety nine this is literally giving it away jewelry makers no. 
Laura, maybe these should go to our sister channel. I'm amazed though. I'm absolutely amazed because the strand of Chrysler praise is loan. I know I've brought to air for more than that. I've brought Chrysler praise in a strand for more than $14.99. Yeah, I'm going to leave it with you, jewelry makers. We cannot go any lower than that. That's already an absolute ridiculous deal. Um, okay, I love Morganite. Morganite, one of the most romantic gemstones. Um, member of the Beryl family. I genuinely cannot remember the last time I actually saw it. It's... Uh, it's been ages since Morganite's been on our screens, I think. It's like a really lovely, soft, romantic pastel colour. Um, and again, set into your sterling silver slider bracelet. We've got 50. We've got what? Yeah. It doesn't have to be a knock-on effect. It's Morganite. And Morganite is expensive. Especially of that quality. Natural Brazilian Morganite. Now, again, the powers that be, this was their instruction, £29.99. Um, especially, you can get Morganite, which is quite pale, quite wishy-washy, a little bit closer to white than it is actually pink. Um, not the case here. You've got beautiful uh, blossom pinks. Again, it's a member of the Beryl family, which is uh, sort of celebrated for the beautiful pastel palettes that it offers. Um, this is where we're supposed to be. But in 30 seconds, we are going to half that price purely because kind of the price of praises. Yeah. Our master, yeah, the actual plan was that these were meant to all be closing uh, here. Um, knowing that, like I said, if you go to our sister channel, it'll probably be a bit more than that. Um, but here we are. We are where we are. Jewelry makers, I wanted to put them all back on the T-bar just to show you how beautiful. You walk into any jewellers and say, okay, I want some gen solid 925 sterling silver. I want genuine gemstones. Do you think you could get hold of them for 15 quid? But have a, I was looking at costume jewellery the, um, the other night. And it's more than that. Costume jewellery, plastic, synthetics. Not £14.99 for sterling silver and genuine gemstones. We've got 50 available. Or had. Had. Make sure you're checking out everybody. Hi, Debbie, Audrey. Hello to you, Rachel, Maker, Sophie, Jane, Carol, Amanda. New customers getting involved. I mean, I don't know. I, I shouldn't assume, make the assumption, but Laura, what, what what's this going to be? What's this going to be? What's this going to be? Okay, so I'm trying to do a little bit of mental arithmetic here. Okay, so hang on. We know that these two, you can get Chrysoprase and Morganite for £30. That was meant to be the price of one. So in effect, buy one, get one free. At the absolute maximum, you can get all five sterling silver genuine gemstone slider bracelets for 65 pounds but there's probably going to be a bit of change in that as well i mean that's five christmas gifts tick job done and you know it's going to fit you know they're not going to struggle with the clasp it's very fashionable and on trend so ever since they sort of burst onto our scenes more recently like i said we know it dates back to the victorian era for natural aquamarine Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine. That's insane, Ellie, isn't it? What? The glacial blues. There's no. There's, why would we bother making them? <laughs> why would I bother making them? Because I've got to buy the strand and I've got to buy the sterling silver slider bracelet, and I've got to factor in my time. Why there's a purple clock on our screens, I do not know. You're getting everything. You could literally, that was the stand, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> you could literally just put that on a jewellery st uh, stand, sell them at a profit straight away without doing anything. What on earth? 
If they don't sell out, I'm going to be I'm going to be multi buying on those. Genuine aquamarine, that you know, our number six of the big five. That's what we always refer to it. And a tenner. Mm. The slider should be that. The slider should be that. That's ridiculous. Actually ridiculous. I love it. I think that's one of my favourites as well, the aquamarine. Yeah, I love the chrysoprase and the morganite as well. I love those three at the end. Right, hang on a minute, them. hang on a minute. Do you want to know how much all that is? Those how three much? that you've mentioned? £40. Wow. £40. That's unbelievable. Mm. Do you know, I um, I sell slider bracelets, uh, base metal slider bracelets yeah. on, my st on my stand for £20 each. Okay. So what would you price sterling silver and genuine gemstones? I'd be adding another £15 onto that probably. There you go. Yeah. So, and you've you don't need to do anything to it. Literally, mm. you don't need to do anything for it. Wendy, yeah. Helen, <laughs> Debbie's got two, June, David, Caroline, Susan, Jane, Carol, Chris, uh, Karen and John. What a steal! We are making friends, that's it. But that's it. It's it it's it, yeah, it's it it's it's basically one of those and I think maybe we need to relay back to our I don't understand it personally, but um I'm just gonna, you know, speak openly. Um, I'll be honest. The black spinel, we've got 143. We had lesser quantity of the other gemstones, but they've not been as popular as what we thought. Maybe we're done with slider bracelets here at Jewelry Maker. Uh, and that's okay. Oh, goodness, that is silly, though. Mm. <clears throat> For the black spinel, with the most amazing luster that's totally natural, a birthstone, and... Let me just open that out a minute. Yeah, August burst. This month's birthstone. Yeah. And you've got the sterling silver slider bracelet. Seriously, there's 20 carats of black spinel. Okay, okay. We do have a big quantity of these. I don't know, I don't know. I, listen, obviously our team will... Um, analyze each auction they know they, they will bring to air things that are popular of course they're not going to buy things that aren't popular are they you know that's why you see jade at the moment because it's our number one seller that's why you see amazing pearls because it's a huge uh, you know hugely popular with our customers that's why you see you know certain types of projects maybe this is the last time we see the slider bracelets what is that though oh goodness <laughs> been an expensive mistake on our, our part that isn't it we had triple figure quantities of these that's literally a giveaway deal isn't mm. it an absolute giveaway deal that's secret santa oh yeah imagine you could giving that as a secret santa yeah secret santa we had a triple figure quantity um yeah make sure you're checking out everybody 7.99 it's not base metal it is solid 925 sterling silver um oh no Oh no, we've just dawned on something. There it is. Oh my goodness me. August 20, try it. Is it just on the web or is it on TV as well? It says on TV as well on that bit. Yeah. There you go then. Oh, thanks, Rachel. We forgot. <laughs> we did forget. Don't forget August 20 code. Yeah, we did forget. I mean, it was already a giveaway, Rachel, wasn't it? Now it's an absolute steal. Just take it apart if you don't like yeah. it as it is. Take it apart. You can now get all of the slider bracelets. For how much? Hang on. That, they were 15 each, weren't they? So 30. How much was the aquamarine? 
40, 48 pounds. 46.40 with the discount code, goodness me. That's six pound 40. Six pound 40 for the black spinel. And in sterling silver, that's ridiculous. Um, down to the final 32 opportunities, jewelry makers. 0800 644 655. Make sure you're checking out and stock up. If you want to get 10 of these, do it. Sell them all at a profit. Literally just double, double the price. Unbelievable. Um, one more. I've got one more of your slider bracelets. Um, this is always a popular gemstone. Beautiful amethyst. Again, in sterling silver. So we're at what, £46.40 for all four bracelets we've brought you so far. I'm about to bring you the last one in your lovely amethyst, lovely colour. Mm -hmm. um, in sterling silver as well. We're going to go straight down to it, not dilly-dallying. Look at that, classic chocolate box. Isn't it? Classic Cadbury's colour. £7.99. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable, that is unbelievable. For genuine amethyst in sterling silver, and here we are at eight quid. It's crazy, yeah, absolutely crazy. I, again, I'm going to say it, I paid more than that for parking the other day. Mm. You're getting a beautiful piece of jewellery. So all five bracelets for less than £55. And even my husband's heard of amethyst. Yeah, like this Everyone is knows what amethyst is. Yeah. Everyone has heard of that gemstone. Yeah. I think, I, yeah, I think, I think my, probably my three-year-old will have heard of amethyst. Yeah. You know, it is one of those gemstones people know, don't they? Yeah. Um, gorgeous. Helen, Debbie, Carol, Rachel, Denise, Jackie, Fife, Chris, Janet, Jenny, Donna, Barbara, Trevor, Valerie, Rhonda, hello to you, Jenny, Jane, Amanda, Susan, Susan, Linda, uh, Sophie Gaynor, hello to you, Jackie, hello to you, June. Um, keep an eye on the website to see if any of the others are still available because they all went to ridiculously low prices, frankly. And I don't know, I've just literally been kind of, I've been very um, open. Um, these weren't as popular as we thought. Maybe maybe the love of slider bracelets here at Jewelry Maker has passed. And that's okay. That's fine. Maybe there's going to be a little bit of a, an, a bit of analysing after the deal of the day. But because of the reaction, we can only respond one way like on the live TV show, and that's to drop it. And that's what we did. <laughs> well done, everybody. Now, yes, um, coming up, by the way, if you, like myself, love our industrial collection, which is inspired by Tiffany's & Co. hardware collection, I wear this bracelet every day. I haven't taken it off since I bought it. Um, we've got the matching earrings coming up today, but it's last stock opportunities. But before we do that... Shall we step back? Do you want to do that first? Okay. Um, but just before we do that, I want to show you an amazing um, blue Akoya pearl that we have coming up at the most unbelievable deal. So about 15 minutes time. This is a natural blue Akoya pearl. And I have to say oh four Akoyas, that's huge. Absolutely huge. So coming up in about 15 minutes time, jewelry makers, it's the perfect blue. Um, now, very, very, very last chance opportunity for you to get. Um, it was a very limited collection. I had the privilege and pleasure of launching it and uh, shopped literally live on air, as I quite often do. Um, now, the earrings were actually more limited than the bracelets, so I'm surprised these are still available. Um, but I love them, so I'm just going to show you, and then we'll go, uh, we'll obviously show you where the inspiration came from. And I can tell you that this is the tip of the iceberg. We will be seeing more of um, the industrial collection because of its popularity. So, are they beautiful? Big gram, over seven grams of silver. Now, intricately engineered to form a continuous free flowing line, this link uh, necklace reflects the shape of util utilitarian hardware. Look at that. Um, and you see photographs on their website. This is Tiffany's & Co. You can definitely see the New York skyline behind. What are Tiffany's & Co. hardware link earrings and why are celebs obsessed with them? Well, I could answer that just by looking at it. 
Hardware began as a single bracelet uh, rendered in bold raw forms, a design from 1962 inspired by Manhattan, a city in flux, a place of liberated inhibitions and where love took on new meaning. Like Manhattan, Tiffany Hardware embodies this enduring resilience and ability to be free. A signature gauge, uh, gauge link serves as the Tiffany Hardware Collection's anchor, a bold motif that comes to life in both singular um, iterations seen in earrings and pendant styles um, as well as continuous chain wrap bracelets necklaces and rings innovative artfully engineered class creates seamless canvases for detachable ball and lock charms unexpected pearl accents as well as asymmetrically placed parve li diamond links handset by tiffany artisans for maximum brilliance um yeah and this bracelet 985 pounds now there's no big tiffany stamp or tiffany's logo on that bracelet this was our bracelet take an inspiration solid sterling silver solid sterling silver not 985 pounds but again let's flick through because there's a few others we can show you particularly um there we go it, this is tiffany it's a nod to the strength and spirit of a modern woman um, love that, especially with the robin egg blue. You can see there the extra accents there. That bra that necklace was 2,000. This uh, this necklace is 3,900. It's solid sterling silver. Um, now we start talking about <laughs> uh, now we start talking about the large link earrings. I'm laughing because our lovely Ellie's disappeared. Um, she disappeared, but I've just seen her name on a call screen. Hi, Ellie. <laughs> Those. Right there, 925 sterling silver, 2,400 pounds. You have seven grams inspired by Tiffany's hardware collection. I've got 19 of these available. We're at 69 pounds and 99 pence. I have to tell you, jewelry makers, Tiffany's silver is no different to ours. Tiffany's silver is no different to any other silver, 925, of course. It's the brand. It's the inspiration. You've got seven and a half grams in these beautiful earrings. One of our most exciting launches of 2024. And again, it's the tip of the iceberg. We're going to be seeing more of these jewelry makers. Um, we've really pushed championing necklaces. We'd like to see the necklaces. We'd like to see sort of the locket-like uh, attachments. We'd like to see um, the different colors as well. 39 pounds for seven and a half grams of sterling silver i absolutely love them and the feedback from our wonderful customers has been hugely positive so um you're clearly fans of it as well i remember i remember vividly my first time ever actually seeing the uh, hardware collection it was in a big jewel it was when i was uh, on holiday a couple of years ago and i saw them clocked them in a, in a posh jewelers so i was like oh i like those um i was brave enough to go in and ask the price and they were four figures so it was like yeah no um not for me but I've never forgotten about them since then. Ellie, you got yours. That's all good. <laughs> I do it all the time, lovely. <laughs> are these for you, though? Yeah, they are for me, yeah. They're gorgeous, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I just saw them and I was like, they are really nice. So in. stylish, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I love them. And so simple. So, so, so simple. The idea. Um, I might have bought the fire pearls that we had, the fireball pearls that we had on the other day. Uh -huh. And I might add, add. one to each. Yeah, why the not? Earrings. That would be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now we've got the final three. So if you want those, make sure you're checking out your baskets, jewelry makers. They are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, don't forget this beautiful natural Japanese Akoya pearl coming up the perfect blue. It's the rarest color of all pearls. Um, coming up in about 10 minutes time jewelry makers not too long to wait for those also can I mention coming up in the 11 o'clock hour we have the biggest deal possibly of the year um, on your maybe even of the decade um, of your Kotan now we brought a 300 quantity a few months ago they entirely sold out because we took it to the lowest price point Kotan is one of the most expensive gemstones um, but we're gonna we've had authority to do exactly that again so that's coming up as well in the, in the 11 o'clock hour um, I've got what sorry 
initial bracelet kit. Is it in this lovely? Oh, it is. Oh, I love it when you get a bag. <laughs> it always oh. makes me feel really excited when you get the nice bag with it as well. So you choose, so you get the yeah lovely pouch, yeah. <laughs> little posh, posh posh pouch. Then you get your thread. Then I'm going to put those down for a sec. You get your gorgeous pearls, genuine pearls. <coughs> Drape that there. Then you also get your sterling silver clasp. Heart spacer Aww. with your initial. Can you see it's upside down? Sorry. I got it there. There you go. It's for you, Arthur Rebecca. Oh, that's Can lovely. you see? So you can choose your letter of the alphabet. Now, if they're highlighted, they're getting quite limited. So you get your heart charm, and then you get all your other essential findings like your spacers, your crimps, your crimp covers. Um, so it's like a little mini project, everything to make a gorgeous little initial bracelet. Um, 19 99 For the sterling silver components alone, I think that's absolutely amazing. For the strand of pearls alone, I think that's absolutely amazing. You can do better. Oh, I love it. <laughs> love that. Who doesn't like Laura a challenge? Says, no, I can do better. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'd pay that for the pouch. I would. I'd pay that for the charm. <laughs> I'd pay that for the strand, most definitely. Oh, I'd pay more for the strand, obviously. Seriously? How many do we have of these? Oh, well, it, it varies because it's different sizes. So, I, I've got one eye. <laughs> <laughs> one letter I, that sounds better. One letter D. Um, uh, only two of T. Only three of N. Uh... Adam, why do you need tea? Oh, you want you want to go first name and surname. I see what you mean, right? Okay. One D, one D, one I. <laughs> it's a strange. If anyone just tunes in, they'll be like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's lovely to be able to actually uh, to personalise as well, isn't it? Um, T is down to two. N is down to two. Sophie's multi bought, Janet's multi bought, Jane, well done, hello to you, Angela, multi buying, Norma, Carol, multi buying, Deborah, Mary. What a lovely little project. And even if you're thinking, um, even if you're thinking, okay, well, I might not make that as a finished piece of jewellery altogether, you've got the components. Yeah. I paid nine ninety nine for those findings, Laura. Oh, no. Amazing. Um, well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Some of those are on the verge of selling out. 1D, 1I, 1N now. <laughs> uh, I, well, aren't they the same? Ring and earrings. No, rings. Definitely rings then. I think a ring box is always popular because um, this, this weekend's all about gifting, isn't it? You know, and I do think how you present your jewellery is as important as, as the actual piece of jewellery itself because, you know, or how you present it, how you display it to your jewellery customers, for example. So, you know, if I was, uh, you don't walk past a high-end jewellers and you don't exceed that, do you? You don't see that. It's literally... No. That's not, how, that's not what no. they do. <laughs> you know, they will literally display it usually in your ring trays and likewise when you present it. I mean, these are gorgeous boxes, some of my favourite favorite boxes because it features a genuine cultured pearl. Oh, genuine cultured pearl beautifully fluted you can literally see the quality of this box um i get very excited about jewelry boxes because i've seen some dreadful ones elsewhere and they look really cheap i've they bought just... some dreadful ones and Have they you? fall apart and it's really disappointing it is you... and, it, and i think it actually if you're to use those it sends a subliminal message doesn't it yeah i packed or like 
I put like I make big tree of life pendants and I put them all in these individual boxes that I'd bought and I took them to the market well, and I got them. there and half the boxes had fallen apart and I was like I can't display that there's yeah. no way I'm putting that on my stand now because yeah, exactly. it just it just looks tatty yeah and that's not what you want that looks beautiful yeah looks so beautiful again you know this it's like that you know pretty woman moment you know when you when you can see the luxury you go to Cartier you're spending hundreds of pounds on their boxes genuinely if you want to rep replace a Cartier box it's a couple hundred quid if you want to replace a a, a, a a Rolex box it's more honestly hundreds of pounds well done everybody it is time though now where we're um where we're going to talk last auction before we bring you the Cotan opportunity this is completely unmissable jewelry makers i don't want you to avoid the, uh, to to miss out on this opportunity because there has never been a better opportunity than today to purchase Cotan. Cotan, illegal to mine nine thousand years history done so we're really fortunate to even have it here on our screens. We had a complete sellout auction a couple of months ago with Dave, and he took it to the lowest, his, this is historic, the lowest price that we've ever seen Cotan before. And we've got permission to repeat that opportunity again. There is a hundred though. So a third of the quantity, that's coming up at 11 o'clock. First though, jewelry makers, all about another extremely rare and treasured gem. That is your beautiful Akoya. But even more than that, the rarest color of pearls has always been cornflower blue. And that's what you're gonna be getting at a star by deal. So um, I'm going to be really quick sort of reading through what Akoya, why Akoya pearls are so valuable. They um, are often actually considered the number one in the pearl world. And that's because really it was Akoya pearls that started it all. You know, when Mickey Moto invented culturing pearls, it was Akoya. It, was, um, it wasn't South Sea, it wasn't Tahitian, it was Akoya. So they're the oldest culture pearls in the world. Um, but also they form... Um, their conditions are far more complex. So what is Nikoya Pearl um, and why are they so special? Um, well, they say, what makes Akoya special? With the fashion world embracing pearls like never before, there is quite a buzz about pearls these days, prompting Vogue to ask earlier this year, are pearls the new diamonds? Um, with the pristine white wonders of Mother Nature showing up on runways, red carpets and IG feeds, everyone is talking pearls, and we do mean everyone. Not just the ladies, this gender fluid gem has captured the limelight with both male and female celebrities as fashion houses turn to pearls as a powerful symbol of status and sophistication at uh, the science so um what we're seeing here uh, and you'll notice i know it's not the most attractive a photograph but how the culturing process um how they nucleus the, uh, nucleate the actual oyster the oyster is only about two and a half inches in its diameter so it's a significantly smaller than south sea or your tahitian pearls and you can see there the pearl farms um the boys that are actually set out um, but if we read on, they say uh, Akoya culture pearls form in the pink, pink Tada Fukata oyster. These oysters are thriving in the hidden bays off the coast of Japan in the cold salt waters of the Pacific Ocean. All asal, this is obviously the words coming from asal pearls who deal with high, high quality pearls as well, um, come from Japan. These pearls are harvested in the colder months of, from December to March and produce pearls with the thickest of nacre. So that is really the defining feature of an Akoya pearl. They have the thickness of nacre and that's down to the cool temperatures. The highest quality Akoya pearls grow in the ocean up to about two years to allow sufficient time for the pearl to form with a thick nacre and a wonderful luster. There's that word again, luster. Uh, the pink Pink Tada Fukata oyster is the smallest of the pearl producing oysters, measuring between um, three and a half, sorry, beg your pardon, three and a half to five inches in diameter. It therefore produces small pearls, uh, smaller pearls, sorry, than oysters um, in South Sea and Tahitian. Akoya pearls generally range in size between three to nine. Um, with occasionally rare 10 to 10 and a half mils. The Akoya pearl is known for its superb luster and its perfect shape. Um, Akoya pearls have a beautiful color consistency, making them often the pearl choice for a woman's first round of pearls. 
Um, they were first cultured in 1893. Uh, a Japanese man developed a scientific process for cultivating pearls inside the Akoi oyster. At first, very few of these small pearls made their way to Europe and even less to USA. By the mid 20th century, uh, Asal had started distributing Akoi pearls in America. Culture pearls revolutionized the world of fine jewelry, making pearls more readily available to women of all types. Before cultured pearls, only natural pearls, what they mean by that is free dived. You can't, um, so they literally used to free dive for them, obviously, and scour the, the, uh, the seabeds to try and find. Um, only natural pearls have been available, so the supply was severely limited and often reserved for royalty. With culture pearls becoming available to the general public, the fashion world in New York, Paris, and Milan took note. Now, I'm going to show you a few photographs, but the reality is these would be far lower than what your, um, that are blue, if they were in blue. Blue Akoya pearls are rarer, um, and especially with the way the market's gone recently. So a Mikimoto um, 7 to 7.7 millimeter pearl necklace, um, three, three, three and a half thousand pounds. If you go to Blue Nile, another reputable site there as well, seven to seven and a half millimeter, 3,011. Obviously, do you notice there if you jump up by a millimeter, the price dramatically jumps? By about a thousand pounds, by the way, a millimeter it jumps up by a thousand pounds. Now, if any of these were blue, look at that single single coil pearl, three hundred and ninety-three pounds and sixty-four pence. But you know, blue comes at a premium because it's the rarest color of all. We have a single beautiful color blue acoya pearl half drilled I think oh, half or through half drilled baroque pearl wow those colors are amazing if you've always thought I'd love to own an Akoya pearl um but they're beyond my budget then today we're going to change that do you remember in that first article it actually said generally formed between about seven to nine mil yours is nine to ten so it's huge the rarer 10 millimeter sizes just just get the wheels in motion i'm going to start at 199 and i'm going to take you know, take a trip down memory lane when i was presenting on our usa channel gosh uh nine years ago maybe maybe even more um, I bought my first Akoya pearl. It was not blue. It was much smaller. It had the smallest gold bale. And it was significantly more than that. And I'm going back nine years, maybe more. It was not blue. Blue is the rarest colour. These are not dyed. They are totally and utterly natural. It's, it's, it's a very, very, very rare anomaly, if you like. We're at 99 pounds and 99 pence jewelry makers, but we are not going to be stopping there. We're going to put a 30 second clock we, because if you've wanted, if you if you had your eye on blue Akoya pearls, now's the time. They are completely irreplaceable uh, um, right now. Akoya pearls have, of even of the white variety, are widely considered the most expensive pearls in the world. More so than South Sea pearls, more so than Tahitian pearls, more so than any other variety of pearl. Add to the equation that they are this beautiful natural blue, then my goodness me, the price point absolutely skyrockets. This is no way near your closing price, jewelry makers. Well done, multi buyers. Half drilled. You know, you could literally just pop, you could literally just glue a bale. Seriously? That's ridiculous, isn't it? Half drilled, nine to 10 millimeter Brock Pearl. All you need is a bale. Well, no, you don't get this opportunity. That, yeah, Laura's just saying, how often do you get opportunities like this? We don't. Blue Baroque, blue Akoya pearls are not a double figure price tag. They're not even three figures, generally speaking. So here, this is an absolute incredible opportunity. And if there's any of them available come the end of this hour, I'll definitely be all over them. 
because like I said, I paid more than 199 pounds for my far smaller white Akoya pearl. Um, well done everybody. Linda, Manchester, hello to you, Renfusia, multi-buying, Valerie's there, Dorset's there, Sarah's there, Kent's there as well. <laughs> the final 15 opportunities to get hold of this. Incredibly, incredibly rare opportunity. You cannot say, like, for example, you can hybridize certain colors of pearls to produce a purple pearl. You can do that. What you can't do with your Akoya, you can't, you can't uh, influence a blue Akoya. That literally happens completely by chance. It's like a lottery win. Uh, down to the final six opportunities. Geraldine, you can do it. Just make sure you stay where the, you are on those phone lines. Um, one for the collectors for sure. Even at 99, that was an absolute steal. Well done, well done, well done. Now, we have an opportunity that I think we need to take our times with and, uh, time with and just sort of take a moment to sort of really digest how important this opportunity is. Over the past, what is it, three years maybe? You know, certainly it was the pandemic that really we saw a turning point in our offerings of jade. Started mostly with your Burmese jade and then as our, uh, I think as our, our knowledge grew and the respect as well that Gemporia um, actually gained, we then started seeing Kotan. Kotan is the original jade. It's, not, it's got 9,000 years of history. It is widely considered the most expensive variety of jade in the world. And it is widely considered to be one of the most expensive gems in the world. For example, I'm going to talk about it a little bit later. There's a, an amazing piece of jewellery, most expensive necklace ever created, that was 200 million. Whoa. That features, yeah, 200 <laughs> million pounds. It's got some amazing colour and diamonds in there. Oh, uh, yeah. Haloed by, guess what, Kotan. Wow. So when the history of jade first began, it began with this 9,000 years ago. Fast forward, though, to the current day. And it is now, and this is enormous in the jade world, it is now illegal to mine Kotan. Not because it's mined out. It's illegal because they don't want it to run out. So they are literally preserving what they have in that location. 9,000 years. It's not very often that I say some things like this, and I know we're gonna dive into a quick break, but I just wanna make everybody aware and ready, but I buy certain opportunities, pearls, most certainly lots of the gemstones that our jewelry maker, that we get from jewelry maker. But I buy this with no intention of ever selling or gifting. I buy this to be able to pass on to my my children, and maybe my children's children, and so on and so on and so on, because they're not going to be able to afford to get Cotan jade. Cotan jade fetches thousands upon thousands of pounds, if not more. We're just in a really fortunate position here at Jewelry Maker to have access. A lot of the time, gemstones, we are in the right place at the right time. This is absolutely one of those given opportunities. There's a reasoning behind this auction. I'll tell you some more in a few moments time. It's totally natural. Get your certificate because it will say not enhanced and it will say Cotan Jade. A hundred opportunities at the lowest price you'll ever imagine. It's happening after this. Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your Jewelry Maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first time creator, our step by step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewelry Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel.
Good morning everyone. It is now just turned half past five and I've just got to the allotment to do a few chores before the day heats up and I wanted to tell you about Saturday's show. I'm going to be joining the wonderful Vicky Carroll who's going to be joining me in the studio and I just want to tell you about my two project hours. At nine o'clock I've got the most amazing bead boxes containing three of my favourite products, Aura Quartz, Shell Pearl and Diamond Tubing in two beautiful colourways and at midday the long way to return of porcelain beads. Two beautiful kits, again containing silk with a needle and also the most beautiful shell pearls. So that's this Saturday, the 3rd of August. Join myself and Vicky from 8 o'clock and I'd better go and uh, do a bit of watering. <music> Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? then why not treat them to a Jewellery Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewellery Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Are you new to Jewellery Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewellery making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewellery Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back, everybody. Now, um, yeah, it's exciting to be able to be part of something like this, and I do. That's it's a privilege, in all honesty, because I know that I know that you know when I'm a, um, an old lady, hopefully, and I'll look back on my career, and there'll be opportunities and gemstones that I definitely remember speaking about and and bringing to it. And Kotan will a hundred percent be one of those because you remember, you know in five years time 10 years time 20 years time however many years hundreds of years time you know the only offer offerings of, of cotan jade will be on the secondary market maybe mm. something that you've inherited or something that maybe you've you've bought at um, a sotheby's christie's or bonham's auction because jade is a very broad term so jade traditionally jade includes um well now it's actually three varieties but the original jade was nephrite. The original nephrite is Kotan. So Kotan dates back literally over 9,000 years. 9,000 years of history. When literally pickers, they used to call them pickers because it's not like down a big shaft. It's not like big open pits in the same way that you might expect diamonds. It's literally picked out of the Kotan River. So there's a wonderful sketch which has been shared with gemology, Lotus Gemology before, where jade pickers used to literally wade into the Kotan River, um, usually under moonlight, because they thought that was the best time to actually find their jade, because it, they believed that the jade would reflect. Now, and you might be thinking, okay, well, is it, does Kotan form at the same scale as maybe your Burmese? No, Burmese jade can be the size of your car. 
it can be vast those boulders whereas Kotan jade and you can kind of see in that drawing you know it's almost like pebbles that they can actually hold um and recently they've been talking about sort of you know the, the surge the rise in the already astonishingly expensive price per carat but although chinese nephrite prices uh received little attention for many decades and that's because it was never of anything any interest to the west really um since the rise of china's economy in the 1990s the original jade i.e kotan has appreciated tremendously as of 2014 the world auction record for jade is held not by burmese jadeite but by chinese nephrite kotan jade and again when you see this piece this is a large imperial nephrite coat it's kotan um it's a stamp a seal effectively that sold in 2021 um for a staggering 18 million us dollars and that's not a vast carving it's actually maybe a couple of inches that's all um again just to show you how it's very traditional the jet you know the jade industry is very traditional and you can see images like this where this is all kotan you can see being sold in the market they literally lay out a blanket they're set individually the see the little cans uh, cans of water they'll spray the jade um they do that with a, a few different gemstones because they'll actually show the glow as well show showcases the translucency of the gem but notice the size how much smaller they actually are to other locations of uh, jade around the world and the new york times wrote ounce for ounce the finest jade has become more valuable than gold with the most prized nuggets of mutton fat jade so named for its marbled white consistency fetching between 3000 an ounce um, a tenfold increase from a decade ago and i only predict jewelry makers that to actually continue because you know this is very very new raw information that has come from um the kotan location and basically at one period of time i mean i've not personally been there i know it's somewhere that dave has, uh, has been lucky enough to travel to but at one time it was so flooded with jade pickers that actually it was becoming detrimental to the environment so literally the government said right enough enough it's now illegal to mine this gemstone because it would have lasted maybe a matter of months mm. um, and also you've got to remember there's a few reasons obviously the environmental impl implications but also the fact they don't want to see this history gone so by banning effectively the mining of kotan means that they're not they don't have to break to the world that this gemstone is now deplete when if this is ever going to start up again i do not know but every single time Every single year that ticks by, Kotan Jade, the original jade as it's often referred to, increases in price. And I'm not allowed to say the I word. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, however, when a gemstone for 9,000 years has been as valuable as it has, come to the end of its production, do you think it's going to go back in price? Or do you think it's going to skyrocket? definitely going to be the latter and you know what that's not necessarily a bad thing there's one incidence where the increase in price of a gemstone is not a bad thing that's as long as you own it if you own it then it's fantastic that it appreciates in value I want to remind you we have the biggest auction the only reason this is happening is because for the first time we brought an opportunity the glow i know it's amazing that translucency we had 300. now following that auction that completely sold out we took it to the lowest price of kotan that we've ever done um i don't know exactly what conversations went on but i know that there were some um communications with our some of our amazing suppliers and they have agreed to give us another 100 opportunities it, it literally touched down in the vault yesterday it's on air the following day and um, that says a lot doesn't it uh, 100 will sell out because you will never see a better price of kotan jade than today and i'm so confident of that statement coming up but not yet because first we have some other kotan opportunities the original jade um i'm just going to read for forward and say 
Here's a photograph saying, uh, uh, and it's a, he's a jade picker or a, a Kotan picker. A man searches for jade in the white jade river in Kotan, China, ounce for ounce, the finest jade has become more valuable than gold. And again, it's small pebbles that he's actually looking for. Imagine how much will have to be picked to make a full match strand. Um, pieces like this, they're huge for the size of your Kotan. You can see those beautiful colors that you often get with Kotan. This is the piece that I was looking for, a Heritage in Bloom necklace. It's 200 million pound masterpiece. Um, was actually unveiled to the world you can see, oh, by the way, sorry, sorry, Laura. Um, see those beautiful Parve diamonds, pink diamonds there, and you see the round ones? They're Kotan. So they've set the Parve diamonds into the Kotan jade. Um, so it was uh, Chow Tai Fu, which is like in the Eastern world. Chow Tai Fu are like Tiffany's and Co. Hong Kong based jewelry retailer Chow Tai Fu released a gorgeously crafted diamond necklace um, and heritage in bloom in September 2015. Once released, it became the new most expensive diamond necklace in the world. But if I skip forward, this is why you have a Cullinan diamond, one of the Cullinan diamonds there, and see that beautiful halo? Um, that is. Cotan jade. Even, all those rounds with the diamonds encrusted within, Cotan jade. They could have chosen any gemstone, couldn't they? They wanted Cotan. Jewelry makers, we have a selection of Cotan. Your big auction is coming up. What are we gonna, should we, should we do it like a countdown to this? What do you reckon? About half an hour's time. Um, I want to show you one more picture and then I'm going to get into some opportunities for you. On first dibs, jade necklace, hand carved with white mutton fat nephrite, certified untreated, exactly as all yours is here at Jewelry Maker. The price for mutton fat jade starts at $995 and tops out at $325,000 hiccups. <laughs> Sorry, I had a hiccup there. <laughs> um, with these necklaces on average... <laughs> 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 on average se on average selling sorry for ninety three thousand two hundred and fifty US dollars that's the average now okay let's start with the the, the beautiful dove grey Oh, Bex, can, Becky, can you pass me one of the, that, see that lovely tall silver strand at the back? Just because then you can really see the amount of Kotan that you're actually getting here. This is gorgeous. And it's in the drum set shape. If you love the shape that that first dibs piece was actually demonstrating just there. I only have five. Thank you. Um, so only have five opportunities. It's a long 60 centimeter strand in this gorgeous, I'm going to describe it as like a dove gray. It's lovely. It's gorgeous, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, really lovely. Totally natural. Again, a very, very, very rare colour um, for your Kotan. Please, 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 jewellery makers, get your certificate of authenticity. It is expensive to get Jade uh, certified, and we have covered that cost for, uh, cost for you. So, And it's like 25p or something like that. So get your certificate. It will say Kotan. It will say the location, and it will say that it's totally natural. Um, I have only four, only three at £499. Well done, Hazel. That's unbelievable. That is how this hour is going to be going. It's going to be on and gone opportunities. Unbelievable. Oh, what's that? The strand, the bracelet. I've got this. I bought this. Yeah. I bought it for my mother in law as well. Is it sold out? No. Oh. <laughs> Can I just show you as well? Look how pu look how pure that Kotan jade is. Hazel, well done. I bought this too, lovely. They're amazing, aren't they? I bought it from my mother-in-law as well. Um, that's the purest mutton fat I've ever seen. It's natural as well. Pure white. Well done. Oh, I love this pink. The pink's beautiful. It's mm. like a blush pink. They're going to be on and gone, jewelry makers. Of course, we're not. We've only got two. This is Kotan jade. The reality of us having big quantities like this is it, it's a, it's like utopia. You oh. don't expect to have big quantities of Kotan no. Jade. You go to you go to first dibs, they've got one. You go to Sotheby's, they've got one. It's lovely, isn't it? Matched as well. 
all beautifully matched in a full 60 centimeter strand you oh 70 it's even longer what remember even look first dip saying between $995 to $325,000 averaging 93,000 we've just brought it to you at 299 pounds seriously look at those beautiful colors i've got one of these left jewelry makers make sure you are checking them out wow. well done everyone well done everybody okay on it's going to be on and gone on and gone on and gone on and gone um which is thank you can I get a, one of the navy busts as well? Because some of these are uh, shorter strands. Oh, goodness me, mutton fat. Pure white. I'm kicking myself for not having my phone next to me. I didn't realise your deals would be this low. Because, again, I'd be foolish not to be able to... But can you imagine? Can you imagine? Like, say my, say one of my girls says, oh, OK, yeah, Mummy used to sell mutton fat jade. Yeah. Did you buy any? No. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? What? You used to... <laughs> you used to be able to buy some of the world's rarest gemstones at affordable price you didn't bother mm. no i'd be foolish not to wouldn't i look at that totally natural look at how pure that is nice. this is unbelievable this is unbelievable yeah the glow the translucency and matching no way that's one of the most ridiculous prices i've seen what do you mean you're not done? Okay. Are, we, are you, is, have we been, I know that we've had special permission on the, on, on the big star by opportunity, but are we in a closeout or something for Kotan? Might as well be, which is ridiculous because we could literally just put these pieces in the museum. But remember, this is one of the most historic gemstones on our planet. 9,000 years, one of the most expensive. Now again, this is down to you, jewelry makers. Do you want a little bit off or do you want a lot off? Because the more of you are there, will actually push the price lower. The more of you that show interest in these opportunities, but it, count my name on that list, please, Laura. Elizabeth, Margaret and Hazel. Patricia and Kent. Laura in Oxfordshire. Seriously, look at the quality of that mutton fat. And mutton fat. Can we go back to the two hundred million pound necklace? I'm not comparing; they're very different. But look at the quality of the pure white mutton fat that halos that colour in diamonds. Yeah. Translucency, pure white colour. Translucency, pure white colour. See what I mean? And you're paying £199. I'm not price comparing. I'm obviously not doing that. They're very different pieces of jewellery. But I am showing you. I'm definitely highlighting the quality of the mutton fat. Elizabeth, Laurel, Margaret, Hazel, Patricia and Elizabeth, you're there. New customers getting involved in London. Um, it won't take long until our jewellery uh, jewelry shops actually start shopping with us as well. Um, we know that we've got you know some lovely jewelries, uh, jewellery shops up and down the UK that absolutely purchase from us. And around the world. Uh, Gigi in California if you're watching right now massive massive cotan deals sorry this is insane this one will it show on the blue <sighs> the quality of these are un uh, unbelievable it still blows my mind so many years on it still blows my mind this is like the Barbara Hutton necklace, but actually a more intense colour because it's your because it's Cotan. Look at that, two hundred and ninety nine pounds for the final five. There has ne oh, not the final what? Not the final price. Wow. <laughs> I definitely would like half price. There's never been a better chance to get Kotan than today, is there? I am, do 
I am collecting busts because certain colours look better on certain backgrounds. They do. <laughs> look at that. Seriously, look at that quality. Wow. That colour. They... Uh, no way near enough people on the phone lines. And we're actually giving Cotan away today. Seriously, you can get one of the world's rarest, most valuable gemstones home for under £50. That is ridiculous. And by the way, it's opportunities like this. It's, it, you know, the fact that we are, uh, you know, hopefully sort of educating the rarity um, of Cotan, because here in the West, I, I mean, I'll be the first to admit, I knew very little about it. I knew that Cotan Jade was one of the most expensive gemstones in the world, but um, that's why the Financial Times are writing an article um, about Gemporia and, and jewellery maker, because of offerings like this. I'm going to go back to the mutton fat colour, swapping busts. <laughs> Eight mil, oh, this is lovely. This is going to go like hotcakes because eight mil is like one of our go to. One of my favourites to work with. Yeah. And, and, and Ellie, I mean, when I look at that piece there, I don't know what size they are, but the ones that are encrusted with diamonds. Yeah. You know, it's strands like this. So Translucency lovely. like this. Now, remember that big auction that we have coming up in about half an hour? Sorry? It might be sooner because everything is selling out <laughs> quicker, yeah. We actually might run out of product. Especially with Cotan. We haven't got an abundance of Cotan Jade. That'd be ridiculous. That'd be like <laughs> us saying, oh, you've got loads of, of Brazilian Prey but tourmaline. <laughs> you know, it just doesn't happen. There are certain gemstones that we just, there's, Mother Nature doesn't offer an abundance. Mm. And we're lucky, we're very fortunate to even be seeing this on our screens because, you know, we could take this to Hong Kong, we could take this to China, we could take it to the East, we could sell it literally on Sotheby's and we would not be selling it at 199 You know, there's 16. Oh, that's a good quantity. I can't believe we're anywhere near these prices. I literally can't. For Cotan, Mutton Fat Jade. Go back to that first dibs piece, which by the way, this is a purer colour. You know that one that says starts at nine hundred ninety-five dollars and then tops out round about three hundred twenty-five thousand US dollars, averaging around ninety-three thousand two hundred fifty dollars. Averaging. Looking at that photograph, which by the way, it's got one small gold clasp. That's it. It's not encrusted with diamonds or anything like that. It's all about the nephrite jade. Um, seriously, yours is a purer colour, a much, much, much purer colour. And we're at 129 pounds. We have four auctions until we bring you the, what can only be described as historic, Cotan opportunity. We have 100 on the nose chances. Four auctions time. And just so you know, everything is selling out so far. You do need to be quick. And I, I, look, I'm, I'm not a financial advisor. However, I'd like to think I know a thing or two about gemstones. I'm buying, pers if, I, if you get opportunities and you love the gemstone and you can afford the gemstone, these aren't my words, these are the words of Richard Wise from The Secrets of the Gem Trade. If you can afford it and you love it, buy it because the reality is they don't stay at that price. They're not at that price now. So there's a huge opportunity. Now we're gonna go back to the green. Can you imagine the green alternating with mutton fat? There's four chances, okay. Six mil, oh, that will. Yeah. Six mil's yeah. like our biggest, most popular <clears throat> size, isn't it? Yeah. Um, this is the deepest color as well. Beautiful, the closest to imperial. They actually refer to it as spinach green in uh, in, in Cotan. Um, four of them available, beautifully colour matched as well. What? Well, that's not a milestone that we're meant to break, though, is it? For Cotan Jade, eighty-five carats of perfectly colour matched spinach green Cotan Jade. You can get it in mutton fat colour. You can get it in different shades. I showed you the blues. There's candy tones, colour matched. Like the imperial greens of Burma, you've got the spinach greens um, of Cotan. Joanne, you're there. Kathy, you're there as well. Um, you need to be quick. Make sure you're checking out. London's getting involved. Amazing. Oh, this one's amazing. This is my favourite. Have you had your eye on this one? Yeah, I saw that come up earlier and I was like, oh. Have you clocked the length of it? 
Wow, that is long. And also, it's mirror image. So, look at all those colours. They're so nice. Yeah, it's gorgeous. There's 12 of these. That's amazing. But everything is selling out. People are dialing in nice and early, trusting the process. Oh, look at that. Yeah, just adjust it. There you go. So it's straight. There you go. Perfectly. <gasps> From your dove blues to your beautiful candy colours to your mutton fats down to your greens. How back to your mutton fats. Wow, what a strand. What are we doing today? I, I genuinely have not seen Cotan at these prices before. <laughs> 149 this in my in my head and i'm i think i'm being quite conservative jewelry maker 499 amazing that's incredible Do, like, ge, this gemstone from this location remember it is illegal to mine kotan now they have sanctions on this area to preserve the environment ultimately but also to preserve the the final offerings they were saying um about a year or so ago that actually kotan jade will probably be mined out within within 12 months the reality is it's not mined out, but only because they've banned it. Mm. That's almost every colour when we had that picture yeah. of the person holding yeah, all the boulders. It's like boulders. nearly every colour that's there. You can get this home today for less than £30. Unbelievable. And again, what an, what an heirloom for your family's legacy. Well done. Now I've got two pieces that I want to bring you before this amazing opportunity. This is a, a, an unbelievable opportunity to purchase your Cotan at the lowest price. Um, oh, we've got a beautiful carving here. This is the dragon carving. Oh, you've been shopping ahead on this one. Well done. I wouldn't have left anything to chance either. Oh gosh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Um, 20 carats of beautiful translucent um cotan cotan jade yes it's it's the ouroboros yeah which is symbolic of the circle of life it's basically a serpent eating its own tail and it's symbolic of the serpent uh, circle of life so evolution um one four nine i've only got one of them left though so you will need to be quick look at that that's absolutely amazing now i've got one more opportunity are oh, the circles again look at this i this started as one boulder so imagine if you look at those pictures of the boulders whichever it might be maybe the one who's holding them like this or whether they're so yeah, yeah perfect now not all of that will be gem quality obviously not all of it but then they go okay i'm gonna make the interlocking links out of one boulder mm. You can't open and close a jump ring, jump ring in the same way that you would do in sterling silver. It literally has to be carved from that one piece. No room for error. This is your finale auction before your major auction of Kotan. And we're at 99 pounds and 99 pence. There's only two available, perfectly color matched. You can get this home today. Is it on four way? Did you say four way split pay? Twenty four pounds and ninety nine pence for me. If your budget allows, multi buy. Put them in earrings. They'd be absolutely exceptional. Mm. Again, there's that perfect quality. Spinach green to Cotan is what um, Imperial is to Jadeite. Basically, unbelievable. Now, I could sit here and say this is the biggest auction of the day. And this is the deal of the day. The only reason we didn't play this as the deal of the day is because the other ones were already scheduled there. Those slag bracelets. But the reality is this is the deal of the day. It's not just the deal of the day, it's the deal of the week. It's the deal of the month, possibly the deal of the year. About three months ago, it was about three months ago, um, I, w I had a, it, was, it was a privilege actually to be joined by Dave here in the studio, um, something that took literally years to actually put together possibly the most historic Cotan auction that we've ever brought to air. I'm sorry. Oh, good, we're breaking things. <laughs> it's all right, don't worry. Um, basically, 300 natural Cotan strands, exactly like this, 
sold out on air. 300. Can I, can we just put that into perspective? 300 people, maybe even less if they multi-bought, purchased one of the most valuable gemstones on our planet, one of the world's rarest gemstones on our planet, and did so at an affordable price tag. Again, I'm gonna say it, that's why the Financial Times wanna write about Gemporia, is because we are hopefully educating, but making the world's rarest treasures accessible. Not at $93,000, not at $325,000. How about if I told you today, jewellery makers, we have authority. It landed literally yesterday. It's on air literally a few hours later. We're going to take it to the lowest price in jewellery maker history. We've got authority to match the price that sold out a few months ago. Good luck. Matched perfection. Translucent. Please get your certificate of authenticity. It's so invaluable when we're talking anything jade, especially something of this caliber. The only information that won't be on that certificate is the price that you're about to pay. Good luck, it's up next. So again, let's go back through history. Because here in the West, we kind of are very quite, we're, we're new to the jade world, aren't we? I'm sure we've known, you've known about jade, but certainly the knowledge that I have now with, about jade is considerably more extensive than it was when I first started in jewellery. Um, and then differentiating between the two types. So jade is like an umbrella, like a surname, and then you've got the older sibling is Kotan. Kotan jade, this, 9,000 years old. Then um, about 8,200 years after Kotan was discovered, comes along Burmese jade, and it's another variety of jade. Um, that has about 800 years history. But isn't it funny that actually those two, almost like sibling jades, pretty much deplete at the same time, mm. pretty much. Now you can get jade from other places, but historically those two are the number one, aren't they? And in the eyes of the East, Kotan is the absolute number one. Mined along the Kotan River. Interestingly, they never found the primary deposit. I remember you saying that before, and I thought that I just found that really interesting. They like, never That's found incredible. it. So each and every single one of those boulders that you saw that gentleman holding, or these ladies in this picture, um, are secondary. So they're alluvial basically so they've been picked out of the river they've never in those nine thousand years they've never found the primary deposit never found the source never found that source again so historically they used to wade into the river under moonlight to try and access the most beautiful jades because they believed that they glowed um under the moonlight and i can see that because we commented on the glow of this strand Again, let's fast forward through talking about how this is a gemstone. Let's go, just go straight to that uh, Chow Tai Fu piece of jewellery that back in, was it 2017? Um, that was revealed to the world, a heritage in bloom, a masterpiece most definitely of $200 million. Um, it features some of the world's rarest gemstones, pink diamonds, Cullinan diamonds, um, and of course, um, taking another centre stage um, is the actual... Kotan jade itself, um, the most expensive diamond necklace in the world. But again, I think those people that are interested in this auction opportunity will already have their fingers sort of hovering poised over the checkout button. All of you will be ready um, to pick up the phone lines. And look, look I'm not a financial advisor. Um, I'm terrible with money in actual fact because <laughs> I just spend it. Um, however, the, this is a purchase. This is a purchase that I don't think any of us would actually regret. I buy it because I know that my children most likely won't be able to afford it. If they can, fantastic. Um, but most likely, not only won't be able to afford it, but won't be able to access it. Because remember, the East even now, in this current situation, as the mine has only just closed, will not export their most prized, pre uh, prized possession, and that is Kotan Jade. We're fortunate in the sense that we have con uh, contacts with Stanley Chu, with Bernard, with Sally Hewer, um, to name but a few, that make such offerings available. We're very, very fortunate. Now, some months ago, about four months ago, 
we brought you this opportunity, 300, and we price pledged it at the lowest price of Cotan Jade that we will ever do. It sold out in that auction. Now conversations have, have gone on behind the screens and it has been agreed that we could have a further 100 offerings for our viewers. But jewelry makers, once these sell out, it is irreplaceable. They've made that abundantly clear. This touched down yesterday. Why have I not mentioned it all week? Why has Carol not mentioned this auction opportunity? Because it literally touched down yesterday and we're bringing it to air hours later. Any other day of the week, if we were to bring this to air and say 299 jewelry makers, they're beautifully color matched. You've got a full 60 center, centimeter strand. That's amazing. You try and find anywhere else that can bring you natural, genuine cotan in a, in, a length, in a strand of this length and of this quality at those three figures, I think we'd be hard pushed. But it is no way near our price point. Now, Laura, we're at 199 pounds. Our viewers, I think, know that we're not going to be stopping there, given the deals that we've done so far. But I think what we need to do... Yeah, well, this is the thing. Laura's just saying, just imagine what these prices are going to be like going forward. Well, they, we won't be able to do it going forward. We can't even access the Cotan going forward. It's now mined, not mined out. It's not mined out, but it's closed and it's illegal to mine because basically the Chinese want to preserve it. Hello, Maurice. I bought this strand the last time it was on. They look apple green in the daylight. Yeah, absolutely. It's a gorgeous color. It's a lovely color, isn't it? They're very bright. They literally glow. Um, if you have jewelry makers, if you have watched any of our Cotan showcases and watched and thought, I love it. I love the history of this. However, it's not within my budget. And you missed that auction that Maurice and I were just talking about. Today we, is, is the lowest price we will ever be able to do Cotan Jade. Uh, this is unbelievable jewelry makers we are in double figures come yeah i think we need right we're not stopping there 30 seconds and we are gonna go lower 30 seconds but i want to make sure there's enough of you ready for this so if there's not enough i'm going to ask for another clock ads do you reckon yeah if there's not enough people because we're at double figures that's insane for cotan jade i've got a hundred available you go lovely we'd be daft not to ellie genuinely would be daft not to get involved in opportunity i don't have a hundred now hang on no i think we need another 30 second clock after this we need to see you there we are gonna go lower this is a moment in jewelry maker history 30 second clock starting again we want to see you there and we will go lower. Historically, we've been broadcasting for 14 years. There has never been, and I include the sellout 300 quantity that we did previously in this statement. There has never been a mis more historic auction than what we're doing right now. Genuinely. Yeah, Ellie, Ellie, I was like, go girl, you go, go do it. Yeah, Ellie would be daft not to though. That's the thing, she would be daft not to. Is there enough people on the phone lines now? One more, no, how many have we got there? We've got 100 of these and I want them all to sell out. Already rapidly approaching the halfway point, jewelry makers. 30 seconds, start the clock. We will never, as gem collectors, hands up if you consider yourself a gem collector. How many of us can actually say that we own Cotan? Very, very, I, I do, purely because of Jewelry Maker. I'd have never even entertained being able to own, the, own this gemstone. I don't have like $93,000 that I can splash on a beautiful gem. I wish, I wish. Adam's Ad's saying he'd have lent it to me, would you? It's very good of you, Adam. Or I can get involved in an auction opportunity like this. There are tons of you there. Half the stock has gone, jewelry makers. The lowest price in jewelry maker history, 79. It's laughable, isn't it, in the best possible way? You know when you you know when you see something that it makes you nervous that you giggle. 
it's honestly one of those opportunities. Um, for <laughs> Paula, Sandra, Margaret, well done to you, Cumbria, Maker, Alison, Irina, Angela, Alison, guest designer Ellie, Nicola in Worcestershire, Barbara, Janet, Helen, Caroline, Veronica, Elizabeth, hello to you. I've got Anne, Fiona, loads of you in the process. Remember, look at the split pay. You can get hold of one of the world's rarest and most valuable gemstones. Ounce for ounce, significantly more valuable than gold, more expensive than diamonds, more expensive than most gemstones out there. And here we are saying, oh, just give us 20 quid for now. And then come back next month and give us another 20 quid. And you can be wearing one of the rarest gemstones. Do you reckon if I popped along to Christie's or Sotheby's, they do that? Uh, hi, I'd like to buy one of your, uh, I'd like to buy one of your Kotan necklaces. You know, 93,000 pounds, but I can only give you 20 pound a month. <laughs> 25 months I never, no you're right I'd never pay it off <laughs> seriously we're at 79.99 is Adam suggesting I'm old there um Angela's got two well done Una's got two well done Jenny's got two well done um there's loads of you getting involved we are down to the final what is it approaching 30% of the stock being allocated historically as well and it is all joking aside jewelry makers you have just sourced one of the world's most valuable gemstones today how amazing is that? It, well, yeah, 93,000 pounds, 325,000 pounds. It's a house, it's the price of a house. And again, the quality, and it is all down to our connections. And um, we don't do the, you know what, okay, yeah, 200 million, that's what we can get for it, that's what it's worth. It's a masterpiece, don't get me wrong. It's got colored and diamonds, the finest Zavarite and imperial green uh, um, jade in there as well. But we bring it to you at the most affordable price. That has always been our ethos, even when we are talking about some of the world's rarest gemstones. Perfectly colour matched. I appreciate, by the way, your messages coming through. Those of you that got involved during the first 300 quantity auction that sold out. The reason why this has not been heavily promoted, also, well, it's actually, uh, um, there's a double whammy here. Firstly, because we didn't know it was 100% landing. It landed yesterday. It's on air a few hours later. Secondly, if we had a promoted it, we'd have had this bought up within seconds by J Traders. Um, we do have big jewelry uh, jewelry names in the Lon in London, in um, California, um, San Francisco, um, in Paris. We've got lots and lots and lots of high end jewelers that actually do source their jade from us directly. And why wouldn't they? Do you think they could buy Cotan jade, perfectly colour matched, in a full sixty centimetre strand at seventy nine ninety nine? It's not going to happen. So we do have J traders that buy from us. Um, Alison's got two. Hello, Lida. Hello, Susan in Norfolk. Denise, Alan, Hilma, Anne, Angela, Alan, Mark. Um, well done. These are going to sell out. So if your name is Patricia, June, Karen, Richard, Janice, Kerry, Janice, Maker, Gloria, Hertfordshire, Karen, Alan, uh, Cumbria, Lynn, Caroline, June. Make sure you're checking out your basket because this will be an on-screen sellout. For sure. And as soon as we dip into that break, I will be all over this. I will absolutely be all over this because I'd be foolish not to again. Can you imagine the conversation when I'm, when I'm an old lady? Oh, mum, so you used to sell Cotan Jade? Yeah, yeah. One of the world's rarest gemstones. The one, that, the one that's mined out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you buy any? No. What? What even? What? How much you used to sell? Yeah. How much did you sell? How much did you sell it for? Ah, oh, seventy nine ninety nine. But you didn't buy any. No. One of the world's most valuable gemstones. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do you know? What? I'd be fool. All joking aside, I would be foolish not to. And that's always how I've looked at opportunities like this. You know. Um. Please get your certificate. It's invaluable. It costs hundreds of pounds to get your jade gemologically certified um we've done it for you and it's just an additional 25p jewelry makers so definitely worthwhile there are loads of you getting involved oh, I, do you know i always find this so interesting when we're uh, during a big auction like this that we can have massive quantity and then you've got those of you going yeah i trust the process i will come in and make sure i don't miss out um and then there's some people at the very end that go oh, okay yeah i'll dial um i love it it's exciting but make sure you look that's literally live quantity 60 seconds to close this auction opportunity i've still got hazel denise christine hello to you fiona sorry jay caroline karen janice kerry janice gloria maker hertfordshire karen and you disappear off the screen um i've got the last 10 opportunities clock to close we're over allocated and then some 
Dorothy in Nottinghamshire, you can do it if you press your option one. Alison in London, you've just joined us as well. Hazel on the phone lines. Stay where you are. If you're holding on on the phone lines and you press your option one, you should be okay. Karen, make sure you're checking out your baskets. I've got 20 seconds remaining. Dorothy, you're about to be answered, my lovely. I can see you're next in line. Please, please, please do. Good luck, good luck. There you go, Dorothy's just been answered. Karen, you've got yours. David and Cardiff's just joined in. I've got the final five. What histor historic opportunity. Good luck to each and every single one of you. Wow. It's a pinch me moment, that is. So I just like to, let's just, just, because I always think that, take a deep breath and just think, just think of what you've just achieved. There aren't many people, there aren't many people on this planet that can say, Ellie, this goes for you as well, my lovely, that can say they own Cotan Jade. I know, I'm excited. And it's beautiful. <laughs> I, I didn't nearly talk about the beauty of the colour enough. But the wonderful thing about Cotan Jane, even if you just literally knotted it, like that piece on first dibs, different colour, but that's by the by, it's literally simple, isn't it? It's knotted with a gold clasp. It's all about the jade. And they're still saying, on average, 93,250 US dollars. You've just paid 79.99. Now, I've got two more Cotan opportunities. And also we'll come back, we'll look back on opportunities like today when we'll go, oh, do you remember when we could buy Cotan? It's amazing we're bringing it to air now, considering it's closed after 9,000 years. I love this next piece. If you are a hopeless romantic, then you'll, and it blows my mind that this is carved out of one piece of jade. Imagine for a second that you're holding a piece of Kotan, a boulder, yeah? And the idea in your head is, oh, I'm going to do so interlocking hearts. How, how lovely is that? How difficult is that? You haven't just got to do it once. You've got to do it twice out of that same piece. You can't just open and close it like you would do a jump ring. It has to be carved together. It's amazing, isn't it? Do you have these on gems? They're <laughs> awesome, aren't they? Where do you start? Where do you start? And also, can you imagine if you mess it up? You'd be gutted, wouldn't you? <laughs> Oops. One of the world's most one of the world's most valuable gemstones. Can you imagine if you mess that up? Oh, if you slipped. Can you imagine this? Sneezed. Oh, oh imagine. <laughs> oh, no! You would be devastated, wouldn't you? Yeah. Okay, now I'm just going to suggest, there's your interlocking hearts. I know you, you can't really see those right now. Can you imagine that? Oh. So they're knotted into your cotan. Mm. Now I've got four. Now in the interest of closeout deals, they launched at 129. Oh, yeah, I love that. Laura's just said, for no reason whatsoever, I've just matched the price. Look at how translucent that is as well. That's amazing quality. They literally glow. Get the strand, get this. It's still less than what you would ex I would expect to pay for Cotan Jade. Um, knot them together. That's an incredible piece of jewelry. But I've got two. I've literally got two available. So you will need to be quite quick, quick checking this out. Um, absolutely incredible massive cotan deals and this is the penultimate isn't it yeah this is the penultimate one of the showcase oh gosh we're over allocated if you're kerry maker maurice or uh susan make sure you're checking out well done we're over allocated now can we go back to and i'm sorry for reference that go back to heritage and bloom part of there we go Part of the design, I mean, it, I, I, other than the massive carat weights of diamonds and cotan and all the other gemstones as well, but you notice how the design, yeah, loads of an abundance of platinum and gold, yeah, 
how you actually have like the three, the, the triple point. Do you see where I'm coming from with that? Where you have the diamond, then you've got the two strands coming off it and then the drop. If you love that look, I'm about to bring you a connector that gives you that potential. So this is Parve set, this is lovely, yeah. Pure white Cotan, natural, Parve set. Now, can you see, you've got your two connectors that you would knot onto, and then you could create your drop just here. Look at the quality, it's in solid sterling silver, it's amazing. There's only seven. If you wanted to create this, or inspired by, then this is the connect to get. $69.99. That's absolutely unbelievable. So basically, you would not, th say this is the part that goes around the neckline, here, yeah? And then you've got the drop on the bottom there that you could put further amazingness. How gorgeous, down to the final six, Margaret, Suja, uh, Cumbria, Lanarkshire, Hazel, 23 pounds and 33 pence. Valerie, you can do it, I've only got two left though. Um, now one, oh, Valerie, you gotta check it out, lovely. Okay, amazing, amazing, amazing. I just want to recap this, uh, the big auction. Well, have you done it, Valerie? Well done. Um, okay, how many have we got left? 11, right, okay. There's 11 left. We wanted to let the phone lines and the web just die down. You were probably thinking, I've missed that boat. I've missed that opportunity. You haven't. So if you are Lynn, if you are Cumbria, if you are Alan, Karen in Midlothian, especially Karen in Mid Midlothian who wants to, uh, Hertfordshire, Gloria, Maker who wants to, Janice, Caroline, Jay who wants to, Surrey, Fiona, Alison, and those are the names I can see. I have literally 11 opportunities. And again, as soon as we dip into the, the auction, uh, sorry, in the break, I will be getting some of these because again, to to be able to say that you own Cotan Jade. You know, we are part of a pivotal moment in history, really, aren't we? Where we actually witness the closure of Cotan Jade. You know, 9,000 years of history, and we're part of that pivotal moment where it literally is mined out, or closed, I should say, more accurately. And at the same time, your Burmese Jade, no longer being mined be able to get to get this gemstone at a double figure price tag and even better to get it in with 0% interest split pay just say oh, I'll tell you what just give 20 quid this month then 20 quid next month and you can be wearing this amazing gemstone that's unbelievable isn't it breaking it down into bite-sized chunks making it as accessible as we possibly possibly can so good luck I've got literally six left now well done to those you just made their confirmations um that is the finale, yeah, finale of your Cotan. Now, I've got it. Something that would go beautifully with your Cotan. Should we do something a little bit mad? <laughs> a bit crazy. I'm just gonna put this across the back of my hand for a second. Oh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Look, Cotan Jade. I know why Ross has put this in the show, you know, Laura. Because, well, not only that, because it's incredibly popular, but what name a colour that goes amazing with jade? Beautiful natural garnets. <laughs> In your <laughs> sorry, uh, in your beautiful like pomegranate pips. Should we do something crazy? Are you up for it? <laughs> sorry, Adam is probably tickling me today. Oh, you're on fine form today. You are, Adam. <laughs> I love it. Ah. Oh. It's funny, actually. It's really funny because 
<laughs> Wayne's the boss, right? But Ross was filling Wayne's shoes, but Ross is off as well. <laughs> Am I in charge now, Ray? <laughs> oh, Laura, Laura, you're in charge. <laughs> Should we do it? Look at that. All joking aside, we're at £3.49. Oh. Sorry. I lost, I lost, I lost, yeah, I got, I got derailed there slightly. Unbelievable. One of my favourite sizes to work with. Uh, Is it? Uh, yeah. You love, oh yeah, you've got those amazing earrings where you just use. Yeah, I love Oh, your mic, gems. mic's off. Ooh. Sorry. Um, yeah, just lovely little, yeah, you can use them as alternative to knots. You can channel set, you can create lovely bubble styles. Yeah, I like to like almost encrust things with the with the smaller gemstones yeah. so like I'll wire wrap them all the way around the edge of something just to give it that extra gorgeous yeah. absolutely gorgeous sorry we lost uh um yeah we all went just well we said crazy didn't we <laughs> <laughs> well done everybody um absolutely incredible <laughs> sorry <laughs> I did not do you know this is that that auction just there where we're, I'm just giggling We've all not really paid attention to the gemstone. Uh, that'll get brought up in training how not to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and see this? Terrible. Don't do this. Um, anyway, right, coming up, lovely jewellery makers, you've got the most amazing masterclass with gorgeous Ellie. Um, lovely kits full of sparkle. Sparkle in your beautiful check, check crystals. Rondelles, I think rondelles. Yeah. And, gem and microfaster gemstones. And also, um, yes, you've got like citrine, amethyst, um, and others. Oh, it's stunning. And the jewellery is incredible, Ellie, so I can't oh, wait to, um, to learn how to make those. Um, do not go anywhere. Once again, once again, all joking aside, huge congratulations on your Cotan Jade. What an achievement. And it is historic, you know. You know, to put that into perspective, very few people on our planet would even even entertain saying that they could own that gemstone. Um, but don't go anywhere. We've still got an hour of inspiration coming your way after this. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Good morning everyone, it is now just turned half past five and I've just got to the allotment to do a few chores before the day heats up and I wanted to tell you about Saturday's show. I'm going to be joining the wonderful Vicky Carroll who's going to be joining me in the studio and I just want to tell you about my two project hours. At nine o'clock I've got the most amazing bead boxes containing three of my favourite products, Aura Quartz, Shell Pearl and Diamond Tubing in two beautiful colourways and at midday the long way to return of porcelain beads. Two beautiful kits, again containing silk with a needle and also the most beautiful shell pearls. So that's this Saturday, the 3rd of August. Join myself and Vicky from eight o'clock and I better go and uh, do a bit of watering. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you new to Jewellery Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewellery making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewellery Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewellery Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Jewellery Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Shopping with Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewellerymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Where's that time gone? I don't know. It's gone so quick this morning, hasn't it? It really has. Um, loved it. <laughs> Is it because we haven't got Wayne and Ross here? Aww. No, I'm <laughs> they, they know we love them. Just Ross like is here in spirit anyway, right? <laughs> just like to tease them, yeah. that's all. But they do know we love them. Um, anyway. Yeah, do you know what he has? Like, I say that, <laughs> Ross has micromanaged every single minute of today's yeah. show. <laughs> So he has been here, really. Yeah, really in spirit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Secretly, he's, he's, he's watching us, isn't he? <laughs> Definitely got the app out at the wedding, like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bless. We love Ross. Love you, Ross, if you are micromanaging from afar. Um, <laughs> no, all joking aside, amazing show. And we've still got more to bring you. Can I just say, who loves a bit of sparkle? Yes. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? I mean, if you love jewellery, generally speaking, you're going to love sparkle, don't you? Yeah. Um, who also loves a bit of colour? She says all in black. But yes, I do love <laughs> I do love colour. I love to accessorise. Yeah, Becky, all in black. But yeah. I like to accessorise with colour. You wear colour in accessories as well, don't you? Yeah. Um, now, who would like some amazing projects that are super affordable, firstly... Get uh, masses for the, with them as well. Um, I know what these projects are going to, and I'm going to tell you for the rondelles alone, that's epic. Oh, I don't know what they're going to, so I'm quite Ooh, excited. I did ask the question during did the you? break. I was oh, like, I did, yeah. what are these going to? Because, okay, let's look at it this way. For the rondelles alone, uh, if I just... Um, can, um, Lauren, can I have a, another board? Just because there's so much, I'm not going to be able to pivot it. Pivot, pivot it. So for the rondelles alone, they're amazing. Yeah. For the strands alone, they're amazing. We're going to start with your amethyst. Do you remember when we were on air with, um, I was on air with Mark, and he was like, oh my goodness, these rondelles, I'd buy them on their own if they, if they were yeah. a product. Um, you're getting the rondelles, and you're getting a single strand, and you're getting further check faceted thank you yeah perfect check faceted so having a look at all this 
So look at how many you get. So there's 40, thank you, darling. There's 40 rondelles. Yeah. You get the extra faceted check glass. You get four different colours of your rondelles, these crystal rondelles, which are so popular, jewellery makers. And then, look, you also get your gemstones as well. So, 30 carats of your gemstones, 40 of your spacer rondelles, crystal rondelles, four lots of 10. And then you're also getting the strand alone. Now, is that the same price for all of these projects, Laura? Okay. Um, I'm going to rejoin you on this opportunity. I love the fact you got the gemstones, but I also love the fact we got these rondelles, which, you know, I think they should be to it in everyone's stash. And you were saying earlier on, Ellie, this is not something that you would have actually have bought no. or bought without having the project. And now you've gone back and bought more. Yeah, so now I've actually, so <laughs> only after working with this, that I got sent this uh, the other week. And again, it's not something that I would necessarily be drawn to pick out myself because I don't often go for the spaces and things like that. It's not something I usually incorporate. But once I started working with this, I actually went back onto the website, went back and checked other guest designers, um, like kits and stuff like that to see where I could get them. Yeah. Because they were so beautiful to work and with. You get masses as you well, get don't so you? many. <laughs> so each and every single one of these rondelles has got like an almost like a concave shape. So you can nestle gemstones in between. Yeah. And as that, well. Yeah, that's and that's they lend themselves perfectly to that. That's exactly now, one thing I don't know, Ellie, is how many we have of these projects. Is there? There's a big quantity. We've got 146 of each colour. Oh. Are they all available for pre-order? Right, so let me just give you a heads up. You can either get the amethyst with like the purple tones of your rondelles. Um, that's what's on your screens right now. Or you can get the citrine with like the goldeny colours. Yeah which is this one, yeah. Or you can get clear quartz, which incorporates kind of like bronzy, champagne, diamond light tones. And it has navy in and that navy. one as well, and clear in that one, so. And the clear quartz is gonna amplify the colors as well, yeah. yes. Now, plus you get Ellie's instructions for free. Um, so, all written out beautifully, and this is the piece, the sparkly rondelle necklace, um, that Ellie is, um, is, well, I don't know if you're demonstrating this, but this is obviously what you get the instructions for. Ellie, I'm looking across to my right, and you have got masses of jewellery. Yes. Absolutely masses. So, am I assuming these projects go a long way? They do, yes, and I do still have stuff left on my... I've got enough for another full complete necklace of the one that I was going to demo and that actually uses quite a lot but I've still got enough left to make a whole other one and I've got all of the beads gems here I used up nearly all the clear quartz and the citrine because I went quite gem heavy on some of the pieces but, um I've got to show you something Ellie <laughs> so the other day when I was on with Mark and we were talking about if I can find them let me just have a check um, we were talking about these projects and I was like, oh, I love those rondelles. Have I got them there? And, I said, and Mark was like, yeah, you can have my leftovers. Oh, so oh, I've literally cheeky. got Mark's leftovers. <laughs> That's how much I love these rondelles. They're so nice. Yeah. How amazing. Now, um... <laughs> I bought all three of his kits. Did you? Yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Now, this is going to be at a super affordable price tag, lovely jewellery makers. Are you ready? In your purples, if you're a purple lover, 
then definitely this is the project for you because it has your purples and your pink tones. If you love your sunshine yellows, then go for the citrine. If you love your more neutral tones, um, then go for the clear quartz. But I'm going to give you a heads up. We've got triple figure quantity on all of these projects. They are go. We are going to price them to sell out and so hopefully that you can multi-buy across all of the projects. Um, if you have any instructions for our lovely Ellie, then do text. Uh, any instructions? Any questions? Um, for our lovely Ellie, do message in. Because we are live if you're watching at quarter past 12, that is. Um, yes. in the morning if not we've probably gone home <laughs> um 49.99 that's amazing so look let's let's go through this shall we so let's be i have got to be realistic for amethyst which we really ever see how much do we think a strand like this would be on air for i'm gonna say 12 I was going to say between 10 and 15 pounds. Yeah. So yeah. let's say 12.99 yeah. for this amethyst. Perfectly color matched, beautifully faceted. Okay. How about some of your little check glass? Fiver? 4.99? Yeah? yeah. Would we agree? What about for these? This is where it gets tricky. Because you've got 10, 10, 10, 10. Eight pound per color. Yeah. Okay. So eight, six, yeah, 30. Does this say 30 all together? Yeah? Plus this. 44. So 44, 49 pounds. Well, that's actually about right then, isn't it? 49.99. That's about right. Okay, we'll stop there. No. <laughs> Honestly, this is, a, this is an absolute bargain of a, of a project. Now, straight away, we're at 29 wow. pounds and 99 pence. You <laughs> get... 40 of those beautiful, sparkly, crystal encrusted spacers. <laughs> then you've got your uh, check cut glass and you've got your amethyst and you've got the instructions. I tell you what, the best thing about 29.99 is it's not your price. 30 seconds <laughs> and we're gonna go even lower. Like I said, we're gonna try and price these so that if you want it, if you're thinking, oh, I like that one, but I also like the, the citrine and I also like the clear quartz. We've got your back. We're going to try and price it as affordably as possible so that you can stock up on all of these. Um, price them to sell out. Absolutely. We had 140. Oh. Just realised I might not be on. Oh, yeah, I am on. We had 140, but a third of the stock has gone already. Vivian's got two. Anne, Emma, Mary, Maker, Janice, and Elizabetha, and Helen. Lots of Anne's. Uh, Kate and Samantha. Oh, wow. But it is silly, because you just get masses, don't you? Look, you get all these. You do, and I like using them together. Mm -hmm. So, like, some of the spacers go really well with some of the other spacers from the other projects. <laughs> Adam's like, why are you moving them again? <laughs> you can see them on the... I just I want to see, see them against them the, the white, white background. Yeah. That's why. That's why there's method in my madness. And I, I did some pictures in the garden this time because it was really sunny on the day that I'd finished. And I was like, wow, the sparkle. Yeah. Especially in sunlight. Absolutely incredible. Oh, look at, I mean, yeah, you would pay. For me, let's be honest, you try and get amethyst elsewhere for 20 quid. Yeah. All those rondelles. So. Okay, let's just say really, just for simple maths, let's say £10 for your amethyst. Yeah. Yeah? Let's say £10 for your piles of your, um, of your crystal rondelles. Yeah? So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then your, your beads for free. Yeah? And your instructions, let's not forget that. But it's nowhere near that. Let's do it this way then. Oh, this is where it gets fun. Okay. One, two, three, four five six seven 19.99 divided by seven mm. 285 so per component and i'm counting that as a component yeah and that as a component that as a component that as a component then that that <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, half the stock has gone already. Well done, Carol, Julie, Laura, Irene, Alison. Hello to you, Anne, Janice, Helen, Angela, Mary and Jerry, and Jane Holland. Hello to you. Um, Vivian, hello to you. Julie in Yorkshire, Stella, Julie, Pamela, Ivy. It's busy, jewellery makers. Do shop ahead on the other colourways as well. Um, I like the fact with the with, with Ellie's projects, you've got the purple tones. You definitely got the purple tones. And then you definitely got the golden tones. Mm. And then you've definitely got the more champagne -y diamond colours. So the more classic. Yeah. Um, hey? Lux. The Lux edition. The Lux oh, edition. I like it. I like it. I yeah. like it. Um, all of which, by the way, have got quantity, but they are going super fast. Well done. Um, So remember, you can shop alongside each of your projects. So um, we can introduce the next project. Um, and then obviously I'll keep you updated on the quantities of each and every single one of these. I'll tell you what I'll do, Adam, just for you. I'm going to move. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Adam, I'm just moving them once again, okay? I don't want to mix them all up, but I'm just going to move them over here. <laughs> Lauren is not going to like this movement because they're not going on a board. But that's because, Lauren, you can see them better, lovely. <laughs> I'll help you. Oh, she's shaking her head at me. Right, let's do the goal. It's like, not again. Not again. Just like that. Oh, eye roll. Um, right, look at this. Right, let's go for the citrine colour. Now look at these. How close can you get to them, Dex? Aren't they lovely? They're so lovely. I went proper Welsh then, didn't I? Oh, aren't they lovely? <laughs> okay, now we had 150 of these. But they're all ready flying. This is my favourite of the colours. And this is sunshine. Is sunshine, not in a bucket, that's the wrong one. Sunshine, sunshine in a on bucket? The desk. Some, I don't I mean, know, something's not? in a bucket. I'll take sunshine in a bucket. <laughs> um, oh, it is, it's beautiful. Yeah. They're just joyful, aren't they? Look at these colours. What lemony diamond like colours. Yeah. And then you have your lovely citrine. How often do we see citrine? Not often enough. No. Now, we had 150, but already, look. 20. What's that? I can't do the maths on that. <laughs> I, I, gen I genuinely can't do the maths on that. <laughs> I know 30. <laughs> The percentage. Oh, we're approaching a third of the stock. There we go. We'll do that, shall we? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> About a quarter. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so this is faceted citrine. Um, you've got your beautiful golden colours of, um, of your rondelles. And then you have the lovely faceted glass rounds as well. And also don't forget Ellie's lovely instructions too. Now we could stop here, couldn't we? That's, no, we're not going to, don't worry. Not gonna. We're gonna go even lower. I like this one as well because I'm a yellow gold wearer, so I would actually gravitate towards the golden colours. Yes, yeah. Personally, so if you haven't got the gold precious metal, then you're getting the gold from the actual crystals, aren't yeah. you, and the gemstones? Um, so I would gravitate towards this one. Um, as do so many of you. Already, almost a third has gone at nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Is this a project, Ellie, that is going to sort of appeal to? Um, all quality you know all um abilities thank you that's the word i was looking for it has been one of those days hasn't it it really has I've i feel really like I've, i feel well. like i've spoken a lot and i think it is something to do with um the actual heat yeah it's definitely not helped has it a bit blurry just a bit blur is it still hot is it still hot outside mm. What, what was the question again? <laughs> does it does it suit all abilities? <laughs> I told you, it's the heat. Um, the, the instructions do suit all abilities, yes. And, and the kits, the projects? Oh, I think so, yeah. There's so much you can do with this. I went for just quite, this time I went for quite simple, elegant jewellery. But yeah. you could do so much more, like intricate designs if you wanted to. Or you can just keep it nice and simple. Yeah, like absolutely. There's, there's like a necklace that I've just used one rondelle and two crystals um, on here. And that's all I've used in the necklace. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Check that out. Check that out. Lovely. Just using what three of your stones or rondelles? Just yeah, two stones and one rondelle, and then I've just popped it on a chain with a head pin. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Um, we'll just keep updating the quantities as and when. So I'll just move these over here. <laughs> yeah. so the next ones i think is going to be the most popular because this is your way of introducing like a diamond without yeah. it being a diamond i'm not saying they are um but these have got like the diamond like colors the if you love your sort of clear crystals then i think this i'll pass that to you a second yeah and um, this is the going to be the one so i'm just going to start off by that look at that look how beautiful they are mm -hmm. Aren't they lovely? So they're the colourless ones. Then you've got like your champagne -y diamond ones. Or more like chocolate diamonds, sorry. Yeah. I'm going to say chocolate, chocolate diamonds. Your argyle diamonds. Then you've got your blues, like your hope diamonds. Yeah, and I thought these were black when I first saw them. But then when I got outside in the light, I was like, oh my goodness, they glow. Like the blue glows out of them so nicely. And then you've got this colour. I can't quite see. Yeah, gray? like a champagne grey. Lovely. And last but by no means least, you have the faceted glass beads. Oh, of which I forgot one. There we are. Um, and then the lovely clear quartz jewellery makers. Now, oops. <laughs> um, now we should quite possibly be a little bit more on these. Should be. Um, however, I think there's a but. We are actually, oh, look at that. I know. That sparkle. It's gorgeous, absolutely. I want to get this project, Ellie. I want to, for the clear quartz, firstly, I mean, that alone could be 19.99. Pristine Eye Clean Clear Quartz is is is, is expensive. You yeah, know, I think and they, almost, are, they are really clear. They're yeah. really beautiful, yeah. We almost assume that clear quartz is all the time, you know, an inexpensive gemstone. It's not, not when you've got sort of, minimal to no clouding or inclusions yeah um plus then you've got the rondelles plus then you've got the glass beads um we've got 86 of these available full look at that wow um do keep checking out everybody i'll keep you posted on the quantities of each of these projects we have oh, got your wall of fame to bring you as well we haven't forgotten so we, oh that's amazing ellie that's amazing so the wall of fame we are mm -hmm. bringing to you in this hour as well just we'll probably do it after your kits today okay um so yeah <laughs> ross will be like where's the wall of fame <laughs> they forgot the wall of fame we haven't um ellie what are you going to show us lovely i'm going to show you how to make them the fancy necklace Ooh, fancy necklace the fancy lovely. necklace yeah because even though you might think that it's quite quite a lot quite intricate yeah it's actually when you break it down into smaller steps it's actually pretty easy quite easy yeah and you can get you get quite a fantastic look from just using some simple techniques so Amazing. yeah so what I'm going to do is what I tend to do when I make uh, projects like this is I will make each of the individual components so I'm going to make all of these all of these little dangly beads here i'm going to make all of those first because then when you come to finish it at the end it just makes it that bit easier okay. so all you're doing then is like adding each piece on at the end and you get to complete your piece it feels quite quick when you get to complete your piece when you do it that way i think so yeah. you will need seven pieces of 0.6 wire is Ellie's ruler? It was my ruler. No longer sort of uh, end of finger to the I know. first crease. <laughs> and I only started using one when I had started writing the instructions because I was like, oh, people actually need to know the measurements, don't they? They can't just go off by my, my finger lengths. Use, <laughs> use seven of Ellie's finger lengths. Like it's <laughs> you never know. Yeah, you never know, but you know. It's a bit more accurate, isn't it? It is a little bit more accurate, I think, yes. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to cut seven of these, and we're going to make. So we're going to make. How long like, are these now? These are ten centimeters each of these. Okay. And this is all. Uh, it's all written down in the instructions as well, so you'll be able to follow along. Two, 
two I don't know if this is a is no, it's longer than a finger for me. <laughs> I've got little hands. Short fingers. Five. So we're basically going to make fancy swirl head pins. That's 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 what I'm calling them. I'm gonna coin them. Fancy swirl head pins. Uh, hi Michelle. <laughs> Uh, Michelle is saying, we have been up to 40 degrees for the past four days. The cats and I have melted to mush. I hate cool. being cold, but this is ridiculous. Aircon needed. Oh, Michelle, where are you? Yeah. That's, that's where are you? Because that's, uh, uh, yeah, it's horrid. Uh, uh, anything over 30 degrees, I do not agree with. Like, like it's no. <laughs> I don't like it. And you get very little out of L. Hard no. <laughs> yeah, hard no. I agree with you. Michelle, where are you then? Are you in the UK? Oh, so what we've got is we've got these. We're going to make these swirly head pins now. So you're going to take the end of your wire in your round nose head pin gonna start to create your swirl once you get round using your flat nose pliers to bring this wire around it just gives you that bit of grip and you can lever the wire around which just makes making the swirl easier you can do it by hand but you won't get as tight a swirl so you're gonna go around three or four times and then there we go. I'll carry on doing some of these. Just keep going around. And you, you don't have to do them all the same. If you wanted to give your necklace like a more organic look, you could do some just with two wraps or some just with, some just with one, I guess, if you wanted to do, go really simple with it. I quite liked it a bit uniform when I was doing it. Um, I actually quite struggle to do asymmetrical designs. Oh, Alison's the same. Yeah, and so, I mean, getting it symmetrical is, is hard, but I struggle sometimes when I see that it's not symmetrical, or if it's just not quite right, that's when it um, doesn't do well with my brain. <laughs> I think you're either one way or the other, aren't you? Yeah, and but then I will wear odd earrings. Yeah. But when it comes to necklaces and things like that, that's, what, that's when I struggle to do the asymmetrical side of it. Um, but I think each to your own, you each have your own uh, ways of doing things. Oh, Michelle's in France. Moved here seven years ago and every year it's getting hotter. Oh, oh gosh, bless you, Michelle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know, I looked at, I actually looked at um, Aircon and it's so, it is so expensive, isn't it? But um, can I, I was had this conversation earlier on with, who was I talking to about the, about fans this morning? Me. I can highly recommend, I do not get any commission for this, by the way, I don't work for them, but I can highly recommend the Shark Flex Breeze. It's really good. Yeah, very quiet. Very, very quiet. That's why I've literally had it in my three-year-old's bedroom over the past um, over the past few nights. Yeah. And it's not woken her up. It's very quiet. It's amazing. So oh, that's good. It's, about, it's about 200 quid, so it's a bit of an investment, but it is a lifesaver. So... There you go, Michelle. Get yourself a shark flex breeze. They're so good. <laughs> and, really uh, good. Our neighbours over the road actually bought one of the mobile air conditioning units mm. and they bought the special drill piece to drill the hole the size in the wall for the vent to go out. So they plug it in upstairs and it comes out of the wall and she said it cools down the entire top of their house. Oh, gosh. So I think we may be doing something similar later this year because we move upstairs. We... Our bedroom's downstairs, but we're moving upstairs, and it is there like is a hot no, house. Yeah, it's nothing worse, is it? It's <laughs> nothing worse than being just hot and sweaty. Yeah. So we've got all our got all our little swells here, and now what we're going to do is we're going to use our flat nose pliers and create a right angled bend on all of these. I think this just um, Making your own, like it's lovely to have made head pins, but I think it's nice to be able to give that little extra detail. And when people are looking at handmade jewellery, I think, you know, that's one of the things that people would look at and think, oh, that's like an extra, hmm. an extra little detail. So yeah, just right angle bend with the flat nose pliers. 
And you can see that it didn't take me that long to make all of those. Um, but again, when you get the kits, you'll have the instructions. You don't have to rush. No. I'm only trying to make quickly because obviously we only have a finite amount of time on the air to do to do do the demos and things. So we've got our lovely little head pins here that we've made. And then what we're going to do is you're going to take your ronda, one of your rondelles, or sorry, one of your beads. I'm going to slide that on. And then one of the rondelles followed by another bead. And you'll have this here. So these are the, going to be the little details that are going to be hanging on the bottom. And I think where they where the rondelles move so nicely, you get a really lovely movement. Um, and I think that makes, again, for me, something like that makes a difference when you're making a piece of jewellery, mm. having those additional things, it just gives it that extra interest. So for these, instead of using my flat nose pliers to create the bend, I just, because it's 0 0.6, you can just bend it with your hand. Yeah. It's nice and easy. And I wanted the loop to be as close to the gem as possible. And I just go in with my round nose pliers to create my loop. Pull that round once. And then just give that a little trim. So we've got that. That's just going to be one of our little links. So I'll carry on making these. So one gemstone followed by a rondelle and another gemstone. And you can see where I've got this one here, this one isn't quite at the right angle to the swirl underneath, I don't think. so. But because it's 0 0.6 wire, you can manipulate this with your hands nice and easily to straighten that up so it's directly under the bead instead of off center. Just gonna pull that out to the side again. And create the loop, it goes around once and trim with your cutters. And whenever I'm doing this, I always, after I've given it a trim, I always go in with my flat nose pliers and just give it a little squeeze to make sure that you don't have any of those rough edges because there's nothing worse than wearing a piece of jewellery and it's scratching you. No, yeah, because you won't wearing. wear it, will you? It's like, it's like clothes, you need them to be comfortable, don't you? Yes, exactly. And I think it's, it's important, especially if you are making <laughs> to sell, it's important that you look at those details and mm. you think, it might be, like if you if I'm making something for myself, I might rush it a little bit more because I just want something for myself to wear quickly for like an, a, a quick occasion. If I haven't got anything that I think, oh, I need something to go with this outfit, I'll quickly make something up. Um, but if I'm making to sell, I'm spending a lot more time with the finish to make sure that we don't have those scratchy bits. So I think that's really important. Yeah. Um, we are swapping between um, um, each of the projects as well, just to keep you updated. So um, is that a live quantity of the purple? Okay, we had masses of them though, to be honest. We had big quantities of each and every single one of these. So that's um, over half the stock is gone, but there's tons of you with it in your basket. Um, we can't go any lower. That's already half price, basically. Yeah. Um, so again, um, yeah, make sure you are checking out your basket. So do... Um, you can you can still get hold of the clear you can still get hold of the citrine you can still get hold of the amethyst um and you get yes the instructions with each of those projects as well and any questions do text in as well because we are live here in the studio yes please do like if there's anything else that you can see out of the jewelry that i've made i can probably explain to you how to make it as well if yeah. you if we have if we've got time anyway so if you think oh i like those earrings at the end or yeah whatever yeah just drop a message and I can explain how to make them oh yeah such beautiful jewelry that we have sent in oh yeah we've got wall of fame coming as well no no rush though no rush <laughs> no rush but there is a time limit <laughs> I mean as long as it's before one yes <laughs> here we go so just getting to the last 
few of these central pieces and yeah I actually think that I would prefer this necklace the one that I'm demoing because I really like having the purple with the blue and the clear I think that's I think it's just I just think it looks really elegant basically so it's just a it's nice to be able if you've got if you can if you can afford to get more than one and you can mix and match well, you can get all three for 60 pounds and you will make mass well that could be a craft fair couldn't it right there yeah if you've got the three projects that's a lot of jewelry isn't it yes it is yeah um and that's the thing like it's just when what, i've done different techniques like with the, so with the citrine one i actually knotted knotted one of the necklaces so and it's almost like a mala yeah I've knotted it like a mala and i've used the beads either side in the same way i'm putting them on these head pins now but just on thread and i just knotted them in between and i color graduated the rondelles because i just really wanted to show show off all the rondelles together in a way and then i think i had enough to make one i saved enough to make a pair of earrings to match <laughs> gotta be done yeah i like having matching matching things so oh where am i now seven right, that's right i've put down more beads than i need on the mat <laughs> So, so we've got our we've got our space our little drops now, and what I'm going to do now is we're going to make make the triangular bit on here with the loops. So, you need about thirty five centimeters of wire. Yeah, rollers back up. <laughs> Doesn't go up to thirty five, so it was an estimate. <laughs> I think it's up to my elbow. An <laughs> elbow length. I think that's what I did. I was like, oh no, I was meant to measure that. <laughs> Let's oh, say 40 centimetres. Let's say 40 centimetres. Let's say that. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, I really need to... It's hard to get out of measure using your you body length to like measure. You could always use length, length of a gemstone strand, because you know that's 38, don't you? Yes, that's very, true. It's still very approximate, but you yes. know that's about 38. Because, so. yeah, sometimes you get extra sneaky gems on a strand, sometimes don't you? Sometimes you do. Yeah, if you're lucky. So with the, with the one millimetre wire, we're going to take this in our round nose pliers and roughly in the centre... And you'll notice in the center, almost like when the ends come together. That wasn't a bad guess, actually. It's probably the best one I've ever guessed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're just going to bring that up. So we've got almost like this little teardrop just here. Yeah. And then it's probably about two centimetre centimeter and a half down. We're going to use... I've used, I've used the round nose pliers right at the bottom because I wanted to have a wider loop, but if you wanted to make a daintier look, all you have to do is move the pliers to the end, basically, so that you've got a, nice, a smaller a smaller loop. But I wanted it to be quite a statement piece with the wire. I like a statement piece. Statement jewelry makes my heart happy. And got another one here. Again, and these are about a centimetre and a half apart, I, sh I would imagine. So we're just creating them in this little V shape. Um, I have made nexus like this, but just as like a straight bar. Instead yeah. of instead of um, making the V. Like a wishbone. Yeah. So just to add a little bit of, I was like, oh, nice to have a little V as for a change. Just bring this one round. So we've done one central one and then three on either side of the central one. Okay, bring the last one round. Yeah. 
Lovely. There we go. So yeah, we've got our little drops here. I'm just gonna remember which way I did it round. I mean, doesn't matter too much, I guess, does it, if you've got the instructions as well. <laughs> so let me look at the piece. So what I did, because I didn't realise that I had these spaces <laughs> when I first when I top got them out. So on the on the piece on here, I've just used um, silver spaces of the same of the same size that happened to be yes, yeah. So I was quite happy to find that out. And there's exactly enough. There's five for each side. Perfect. So although. I am going to check because I'm not sure they're going to fit on the one mil wire actually now I've just said that. Oh they do, Yay. nice drill holes then. That's good. I was worried for a minute, I was like oh no. <laughs> and there we go. Some might be to, they get there are a little a couple of them come stuck together, but they do come apart quite easily once you uh, just give them a little wiggle. Here we go. So I'm just going to be oh feeding the beads on. I don't know if people can see that at the moment. You can show that. Yeah. <laughs> can we show that? Thanks. There we go. <laughs> So yeah, just feeding some. But yeah, I didn't realise I had these little spaces, so I was like, oh, I'm going to use silver spaces in between so they sit nicely. And then I got to the pack. <laughs> I went, went to make the earrings and found this other pack of beads in there. I was like, oh, bonus beads. <laughs> so, oh, I really like them on the copper as well, on the rose gold. Yeah, gorgeous. Gives it that extra... Uh, Jane's saying, can we have a closer look at the large pendant next to the necklace, please? Uh, yes. Is that what you mean, Jane? Yeah. You are lovely. Yes, no problem. And that was actually quite a simple, so all I've done is I've made a pear shape by using my ring mandrel and bringing the wire up and around it and above the ring mandrel. Okay. Bending one of the wires at a right angle and then wrapping around at the top making and a then little loop. Done, what, how, do you, how have you attached the um, clear cords? Um, I've wrapped that on with 0.4mm wire and I've just wrapped them all the way around the edge. Ah. Yeah, and then just use the drops in the middle because I thought it's quite elegant. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. So now I'm just going to show you how, we, how I'm going to finish off the end of the mm -hmm. necklace. Okay, so at the end here, again I just bent out to the side yeah <laughs> gonna bring this around to make a loop just here give that a little trim <laughs> so i'm just going to repeat that on the other side oh I might need to make that a little bit straighter to get the beads on okay so we've got one of the three mil beads one of the rondelles, three mil bead, rondelle, three mil bead, rondelle, three mil bead, oh, last rondelle, and the last bead. And this is actually, so yeah, look, because I, I got to mix and match the, the um, packets, it's really nice actually to have the purple with those darker colours. I think that looks really nice. There we go. Pull this one out to the side. <clears throat> Using your round nose pliers, going to create that other loop and then just trim that off with your cutters. There we go. So then we've got the base here, and now we're just going to attach these 
with some jump rings, which uh, I, I don't actually have with me. So I'm going to quickly show you how to make some jump rings if we've got time. Oh, yeah. Double, right. double whammy. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So for the jump rings, when I'm making them, I tend to use a 0.8. It's a little bit, it can be, it's a little bit sturdier than the 0.6, but not as tough on your hands as the, as the one millimetre wire. So let me just, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I take the, take the wire in the bottom of the round nose pliers. I pull that around and what I do is I then ever so gently put the wire underneath. So then we're going to be creating, almost it's going to look like a spring, but because I wanted them uniform, I do it on the bottom, the bottom rung. That's not right. Maybe. Maybe it's the bottom rung um of the of the pliers where it's thickest because if i do it in the middle they might go up and down in size if i'm not exactly keeping it straight whereas if you do it at the bottom you can rest the wire against the flat bit of your pliers here which just makes it that little bit easier i think you have a bit more control so just gonna keep doing that how many do i need one two three four five six seven Yeah, that's fine. So then you trim that off. I pull it out to the side and using, I use flush cutters usually for this. And I cut them out one at a time like this. Just have to ease out the, ease out the next spring next to it. And try and cut it in line, as much in line as you can with the other side when you're making your own uh, jump rings. Yeah, I really like the silver with the with the rose gold. Actually, I think it's quite a nice. I mm. often go for silver and gold, but actually with the rose gold, it's quite a nice uh, contrast. I think. How many have we got? Two, three, four, uh, the kits were about yeah about two minutes so we're gonna have to move on from the projects jewelry makers so um the quantities there is still quantity however there's loads of you that's still in your baskets as well so um do make sure you check out an amazing deal for the sheer volume that you're getting yes there's a lot a lot in the kits you can definitely do a lot with these yeah yeah there we are so we've got our little jump rings gonna open these out and then pop on all of your pop all of your um, little dangles on on each one, and I, I, I colour graded them again because that ha makes my eyes happy. So <laughs> gorgeous. There you go. Yeah, and then we just once you've had added all the dangles on you just attach this part onto a chain any length you want if you wanted it a choker shorter. And, and, and if you do if you did miss anything then obviously you do get the instructions with your project um as well jewelry maker so you can reference that yes now lovely jewelry makers we haven't forgotten you don't you worry your fabulous creations as well um to inspire us is the wall of fame Okay, starting us off today, a beautiful piece of jewellery from um, Lynn Colson. Hello, Lynn, you're number 182. Dear all, my entry for this week's WAF is a knotted long line necklace using rose quartz and rhyolite slabs um, with various complementary rounds, including rose quartz, venturine and rhyolite, all from my stash and, of, of course, jewellery maker. Good luck, she says. Lynn, that's beautiful. I love, the, I love these shapes. Yeah, to bring lovely. them back. You're 182. Well done, good luck. Look at this, Aww. I love it. This is amazing. 183, Mary Gilbert. Hi everyone, I made this bee from plated wire and a tiger's eye cab, all from Jewelry Maker, using a DVD made by Claire McDonald. It took quite a while, but it was worth the effort. It definitely was worth the effort. Everyone loves it, wishing everyone good luck. 
Well done. Amazing. Next up, I've got a beautiful Wywood ring from Wenda. Hello, Wenda. You're number 184. Um, and here is my Wall of Fame entry this week. Red rose ring made from red wire purchased from jewelry maker. Made for a friend. And she says, good luck to everybody. Good luck to you, Wenda. You're number 184. Oh, lovely. And this one is number 185 from Rebecca Oh, it's Lavery. fabulous. Yeah, yeah, it is, isn't it? Those rainbow colours. Made this little bookmark with lucite leaf leftovers. The jump rings and chain are all JM plated. I have tried cheap ones. They don't work. Got my mojo back. You no. certainly have. That's amazing. Very nice. Um, I love this next neck oh. necklace. Um, this is Fran uh, from Brenda Chibnall Smith. Hello, Brenda. You're number 186. I love this. Can't go wrong with a pearl scoop, can you? Um, hi all, this is my entry to the Wall of Fame this week. A long line necklace made from pearl and shell pearl bead scoop um, and seed beads, all from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all fellow offers. Thank you for all the great deals and laughs. Hoping for a win myself. I'll keep everything cross for you, Brenda. You're number 186. And this one is lovely. Very so nice. elegant, isn't Very it? Very nice. 187, Jeff Nicholson. This is my make from the Jade Panther kit. Use gold plated sterling silver spacer beads and findings from my stash, all from JM. Good luck to everyone this week. Planning on wearing this when I go on a cruise later this year. How nice. Wow, very nice. Well done, Jeff. Um, I have number 188 from Dawn Nelson Whitehead. Hello, Dawn. Um, these are beautiful. Um, and Dawn says today's entry is 925 sterling silver plated thread earrings. Um, freshwater pearls, uh, Sleeping Beauty turquoise, um, even the tea pins are from Jewelry Maker. Good luck, everybody. Wow. Oh, I love Lovely. that. Love that. Uh, 188, Dawn. Good luck to you. And 189, Vera Barini. Morning, JM. This week's entry is a hematite necklace using my favourite element created by Mark, the Alhambra Clover. Gold and teal work together so well. I love it. Good luck to all entrants. That's amazing. And I, I can't do beadwork like this. I'm always in so awed by people who can do I that. I know. It's good. They're so beautiful, it's aren't amazing. they? It's amazing, yeah. So beautiful. Um, next, uh, last but by no means least, number 190, uh, 90, sorry, is from Justine Simon. Hello, Justine. Um, hello, jewellery makers. Today's make um, is a macrame necklace with blue chalcedony, amazonite and opalite rotating rings. Oh, that's very cool. Um, used a sterling silver head pin to give it a free movement. Everything is from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to everybody. Justine, that's absolutely beautiful. Well done. Good luck, everyone, in the draw. Um, the draw happens on Wednesday, so you still have time to send your entries in. The only stipulation is that they're Jewelry Maker products. That's all. It's not down to merit or, or ability. If it's a first piece of jewelry, fantastic. We'd love to see that. And you literally get entered into a, a tombola and the winner will receive um, £100. Runner up will receive 50. Just literally done by, uh, by at random. I'm giving it a push because I've noticed the numbers of the deal of the day lately have just been kind of dwindling slightly. And we don't want that because otherwise they'll take it away. <laughs> we don't we've been doing it since day one uh, yeah. um so do keep those entries coming through now keep an eye on um keep an eye on the website as well jewelry makers um if you missed out we brought you the most amazing historic cotan strand opportunity the most affordable cotan jade that i think we ever will see and we took it as low as 79.99 that's it was yeah it was something that we hadn't advertised and believe me you would have done um but literally it arrived yesterday and literally included into the, this weekend show um, and a few hours later. So absolutely unbelievable. We brought you loads of beautiful goodies, the multiple yeah. hue pearls, those pure white pearl, pearls, the projects have been amazing. It's been, it's been just, yeah, uh, it's gone so fast, hasn't it? Yeah, today? it has. It's gone really fast today. Yeah. Tomorrow you've got wonderful Mark launching, launching, it's launching, <laughs> <laughs> launching his uh, porcelain beads. Uh, you've got an opal early bird, I know that. Your deal of the day, do you know? 
pearls, amazing yeah. pearls as well. Oh, is that the yeah, Edison pearls I've seen? Yeah, they're absolutely beautiful. I'm not with you tomorrow. Um, I'm off at a wedding, which I'm very excited for, but I will take photographs as well because we've got the old traditional Indian dress as well. So very excited for that, jewellery makers. I'll be back with you now on Wednesday. So you've got just enough time to get your entries into the Wall of Fame. Ellie, when are you back, darling? I'm back on the 16th of august 16th of august not too long then not too long no let's all look forward to that yeah have a lovely, lovely day thank stay you stay cool everybody as best you possibly can and take care we'll see you soon mm -hmm.